I know that he is a senator of the Federal Republic. But he also knows my position. And he knows that I have the right not to see him. Yes, Your Majesty. You have every right not to see him. But you should also understand that it's not just about you. It's about the political goodwill that the entire kingdom stands to get with his presence. Um, and in the event that he wins the forthcoming presidential elections, Your Majesty, he will not fail to remember that we will come to him at a time like this. Um, Your Majesty, it is true. No man will be comfortable if he sees a fellow man badge into his compound like this. But I must not fail to lend my voice to what Ichi, Anya, and uh, Ichi Uyaka have just said. Let us invite him in. Your Majesty, please meet with him. Kani, go find out what the problem is. Okay, sir. I noticed you couldn't keep your eyes off me, so I thought I'd come say hi. Well, that's nice of you. I'm doing that by name. Your friends call me you. My friend over is John. Hey, uh, no, no, no. I can introduce myself, okay? Um, sorry, dear. Like he said, my name is Brown. I'm in third year in sociology. <laughs> okay. So now that we've all introduced ourselves, you don't mind if I make a call, do you? It's okay, it's okay. Hey, Dad. I'm fine. So, Daddy, I'm standing in front of Leo in Brown. That's if That's your real names, by the way. And I'm wondering, why are they mocking at me? Hey! What are you talking oh, about? Shh, shh, shh. Mind, I'm on the call, so just shh, shh. It's okay. Yes, Daddy? All right, my dear. I give up. I know you're a very smart girl. But what I didn't know is that you were going to bust their cover this quick. I also know that you are mad at me. But please, I want you to understand that this loving father of yours 
is just doing his best to protect his only daughter. And that is such a long story. Could you please cut it short for me? What are they doing moping at me like fools? My dear, I am a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And by my standing in society, you as my daughter stand the risk of being kidnapped. Then I have told you times without number to, to, to keep your guns off me. Allow me to live my life like a normal student. My dear, my dear, listen to me. I am a politician. And one of the occupational hazards of what I do as a politician is to have political opponents and enemies. And as you can see, I am on my way to becoming the next president of this country. So I should be worried that those that are not happy about my success, I want to harm you. Call them off my back. You why don't you seriously with me over this matter? Because I will forgive myself if you let me tell you. Okay, you don't want to call them off my back. Don't worry, Daddy. I will do it by my damn self. And you know how nasty I can get? Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so very much. Now, both of you. If you know what is good for you, you keep your miserable ass off my back. Get a life or something. Um, I'm sorry, sir. If the king does not want to see you, let's not waste further time here. We still have a lot to do, sir. Honey. Sir? The vulture is a very patient bird. Yes, you may be my very dependable assistant, but a whole lot, a very whole lot, you have to learn. If he doesn't want to see me, it's okay. But you see, in life, it's always fun to watch people try to strike a balance between what money can do and their sense of morality. I don't understand, sir. Never mind. It will all come to you in due time. Be patient. Your Majesty, I am not trying to remind you that it is your duty as a traditional ruler to be father to all. This court is expected to play host to all and sundry without prejudice. Igwe, a child does not refuse to answer a call, but who refuse to uh, go to an errand. Let us go ahead and welcome the senator. Let us hear what he has to say. If what he says is good for us, we welcome it. But if on the contrary, we will reject. Yes, um, Your Majesty. Our people say, if you want to show a toad resting on a stone to a child, you have to point it out clearly because their shapes are more often than not the same. Yes, what I am trying to say is that if there is any reason you don't want to see that man, Your Majesty, I think it is important for us to also know about it. Well, I have heard all you have to say. I have one question. Do you want us 
to host Senator Chigozi Abuncha. Igwe, he is our visitor. But if you feel strongly against hosting him, then we would like to know so as not to make mistakes. Sir, with due respect, sir, it is totally unacceptable keeping a man of your status waiting this long. It is condescending, sir. Connie. Sir? Did anybody make an appointment for us to see the king? Um, no, sir. Meaning that we're not here on appointment. So? It's obvious he never made any arrangement to host us. But I can tell you that as things are right now, I can bet my life that he's trying to sort out things to enable him to give me a befitting welcome. Uh, but, sir... Can he, once again, be patient? You see, if you must survive in the rough political terrain of this country, you must learn to be wise and patient. Aha! Distinguished Senator of the Federal Republic. How are you, Ichie? Fine, thank you. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. Uh, the King will now see you. Oh, really? Yes. So you can come down. Let's go inside. Very well then. You are welcome. Baby, yeah, man. the most action baby, Miss Nigeria, Miss Africa, Miss the world. Whoa, 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 Miss, the most beautiful girl, man, baby. What's the girl? Hey, what? What would you face, baby? Come on, you know, let the look. Come on, baby. You know, envy this serious frown. What the girl? What would you look, baby? But I go on, baby. What's up with my face? Come on, baby, me know this face. A loving face, a willy put smile, a willy put time. And now the way it look. <laughs> if man I go bring a gun to near this face, kaboom, it go blow. So me know that. So what I go on? What the front? Can you tell me? You know one of them boys or two of them could have been responsible for this face front? Baby, what I go on with the boys? Sydney, do you know them? Oh, mm, not really. You know, school thing. Beside them, we'll for time all the time, but I shot with them once. What about with them, baby? No, I was just curious. Curious? Curious. I was just curious. What's up? Our 10 o'clock lecture. Is this still holding? Lecture not hold no more. Oh, yeah. Went to the cafeteria to fill up my stomach, sat the rep, and he said the lecture and I will come. So, no lecture. Alright. So what go on? Okay, just find some way to chill and clear my head. A chilling team? We love some chilling team. Look at that. Ride along with the most beautiful. Come on, baby. Oh, get over here. Yeah, baby. Hello, we rest the man. Come on, come on.
Distinguished Senator of the Federal Republic, the lofty ideas expressed in your speech demonstrate that if put in position, this country will benefit optimally from your administration. It is further evidence that if you become president, we shall grow mightily from strength to greater strength. As usual, your, your words are good to understand. Let me just quickly add to what I have said earlier on. That I uh, make you and your people a solemn promise that you will continuously occupy my place in my heart. Kali! Sir! Uh, the Majesty. Uh, for welcoming me to your palace with a pile of phone call and to show appreciation. You and your elders, please, I want you to uh, accept this as a book. You shouldn't have done this. We, we don't really need it. It's a gift. To your majesty, tradition demands that when a man of my status is coming to see someone like you, he don't come empty handed. Please, please, do a service for me. <laughs> Distinguished Senator of the Federal Republic, on behalf of this council, I want to thank you for this magnanimity. It's a proof that if you become the president, nobody in this kingdom, in the country at large, will suffer hunger. Yes, yes. we will support you. <laughs> thank you. Thank I should be the one thanking you people you know, for making our time within this short period of time you know, to be here. Thank you, Walter. Your Majesty. Well, thank you for coming. May you always be blessed. Be safe.
Easy, easy, easy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you said it for my daily criminal. Thanks. It's, 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 it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Let, listen, 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 listen. Let's just keep this between us, right? Okay. Yeah. I have to get my heart. What if he's dead? What? He's dead. What if he's dead? Oh, no, no. Yeah, I don't think he can just die like that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Okay? Don't say that. 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 Are you still scared? No. No. Instructed that under no circumstances should you be disturbed until after your meeting with the party star was. Oh, shut up, you fool! Even if I gave that order, don't you know that certain things must take precedence over others? I'm sorry, General. Shut your piehole up! Tell me what happened. Sorry, my foot. They said his body was found behind the school building with a gun in his hand and wrote a written on his forehead. And what is it? It's believed to be the signature of one of the numerals secret cult on campus. Those that call themselves adventurers. And for God's sake, what was my son doing with a gun in his hands? I don't know, sir. But the school authority believe he's a cultist my son was not a cultist my son had higher dreams he had higher goals he had clearer visions and he couldn't have stooped so low as to become a common campus cultist my son was not a cultist is that clear 
Yes, sir. I know the situation will hurt us politically, so I had to do my best to contain it. Whoever killed my son must pay with his life. Your Majesty, you know, the Banwain Taba does not say everything he sees while climbing the pan trees. I know that was the case with the senator's visit. But then, the gate of Banwain does not cease to bend over so that those it knows will partake of its content. All right, check it, you're right. If I'm gonna do the Bamele, the cocoa yam does not squawk for nothing. That would be a cause. I know, Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, you may remember many years ago that I contested for a seat in the State House of Assembly. Yes, I remember. I remember it as if it was yesterday. Your father was very bitter with you. Not only my father, but all the people of the entire constituency. Because only the grace of God that has wiped the memory of that in our hearts all these years. Everybody believed that I collected money and stepped down for Ibekwe. Who was then my opponent? Your Majesty, you refused to talk about it. And people believe what was open to them. But is there any connection between what happened then and Senator's visit? Check it. Now, sign. How much were you paid for this? I'm asking you, Chigozi. Damn it, I worked hard for this, Chigozi. If I, I don't call the shots. I'm only someone's political foot soldier. And believe me, I want his state to pull the trigger if he refuses to sign these documents. My job here is very simple. I give you the papers. You sign. You give me the papers. And I sign. Yes. What if I don't? <laughs> well, that's when your job starts. And please, don't make it easy for him to forget a blade in your head. And nobody knows you are here. Believe me. It did not take him and his colleagues anything to hack your body into pieces and feed your flesh to the dogs. Who am I standing down for? At least, I deserve to know. Well, I don't know. Nobody knows yet. Sign the papers. We are getting some here. That was how I lost out on an election which I had demanded of virtually all the people. Well, I didn't go to the house then to represent my people. But today, people from even beyond my immediate community trust me with critical decisions concerning their lives and the welfare of their people. Now, he has come to solicit for your support. He did because he had no option. Not because he wanted to. And truth must be told, it is killing him inside. And he had to come to me for help. Knowing what he did to me. But 
your majesty. What about the money he gave to us? Don't you think that he might try to implicate us in a bribery scandal? When I said we didn't need it, I saw the look on all your faces. So I allowed you to collect what he offered. As for me, I returned mine immediately to the palace guards. No, you have to learn to live with it. You have to bear the consequences. This is serious. Serious. And what about General Your Majesty? Oh, General Jack? Oh yes. He still has my full support. My full support, total support. Everything has been messed up. Simply because I listened to you. When you introduced that guy to me, I felt he was the kind of guy I wanted for that job. How could he attempt kidnapping someone in that school in broad daylight? I mean, just look at it. Isn't that the heart of madness? Why don't we kidnap her ourselves? You want us to go to that school to kidnap someone who has been alerted to the fact that people are after her? You know she lives in a secret area. She had the hands out. Now what I want you to do right now is to tell me how do you suggest we do that? Frank, listen to me. All we need to do is to kidnap her. It doesn't matter where we do it. Okay? I wouldn't want us to feel... What do we tell our principal if we fail to kidnap the girl? We don't need to tell him anything. Let's just find a way and do it. I was just around, okay? Um, and I heard what happened, so I uh, thought it necessary to stop by see you before I uh, go back to Abuja. Daddy, you know you didn't have to come. I'm fine. I know, you're fine. I know. But I want you to understand that Daddy's all too old in a face of men to believe in coincidences. Hmm? 
I don't understand. Yes, my daughter, you know, nobody will try to um, rape you during school hours and not in broad daylight. Keep your voice down, please. You're talking about rape and people are listening. Besides, what, what else can my silly want from me? What about the young man that saved you? Well, I don't know how you got all this information, but the young man in question doesn't want to be mentioned. And you might know him, but I'm not telling you. Well, I just want to see him. Thank him. Okay, for saving my daughter. Again, I heard um, the guy who wanted to kidnap you is dead. Don't you think it's enough reason to pull you out of this car? What? And how did you get all this information? Oh, never mind, my dear, okay? I have a flight to Harch, okay? Just take care of yourself, okay? I looked everywhere for you today on campus. Why weren't you in school? You will not believe what happened this morning. What happened? I woke up and I went outside to get something from my car. Mm -hmm. Guess what I saw standing by the door? Who? Oh. My dad. Wow! That's great! Great? Come on! He knows I don't like him coming around. I'm not a daddy's girl for one, and secondly, I don't want to be seen around here. That's the sister's daughter. Joa. That's not enough reason for you not to have been in school today. No, not really. I just need some peace and quietness to clear my head. <sighs> okay. You won't have gotten that in school because of the death of the coffee. What? Someone died? Yeah. It was called Thunder. It said, yeah, lost to them, yeah. I get that he was killed by members of another cult group. And the whole school right now is a gog. That is tragic. Very tragic. How long will you be here? Are you still around? Are you okay? Yeah. Why are you asking? Um. I, I just need to see somebody real quick. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? 
I have your ID card, which is the only piece of evidence that clearly shows that you murdered Matthew, the son of General Jack. Oh, goodness. If you don't stay away, but this little piece of evidence will get to some people who are here to know the mother of my Jack. I am very serious. You want to stay away from him. Let me hear it. <clears throat> His Royal Majesty, Igwe Ifai Chuku Enokora, who is also the Chairman South East Council of Traditional Rulers and the rallying point for the people of the region, pays glowing tribute to the sterling leadership qualities and multi generational developmental strides of. Senator Chico. You don't expect me to approve that republication, do you? Get back to work. I want something catchier. Something that will leech on the consciousness of the people and never let go. And be fast about it. I want it on time to go to the press. Please. Must be in the news first thing tomorrow morning. Look, I am not a cultist. I didn't mean to kill him, it was an accident. Come on, you were there. You witnessed what happened. It was an accident. Maybe we should report ourselves to the police and the school authority. And what do you think will happen to us? We charge the court. And? And we'll get a lawyer. Or lawyers to argue our case. And then we'll put all of this behind us. Well, I wish I share your optimism, but reality check, my dear, it's not that simple. Now, if this guy was who I hear he was, his fellow cult members will shoot you faster than you can spell the word lawyer. And then they're going to come after your family members and kill them. Oh. So, what do we do? I cannot live with the guilt of being an accessory to murder for the rest of my life. I need closure on this. I need closure so I can move out of my life. Look, this... What happened back there wasn't murder. 
All right? It wasn't murder. It was an accident. You saw it. I didn't mean to kill him. Don't talk like you, 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 were, you were blind or something. I was only trying to help you. I didn't mean to kill him. It was not murder. And like I said, do nothing. That's the only closure you can get. Gava, I called your number, you did not pick, so I decided to knock. I'm here to call that film you told me about. Call me and hidden your number. Ah, sorry, but I hid my number to call one girl, so I didn't realize it's still hidden. So can I call her the No, no, no. Look, Swan is looking for you, take a look. You need to leave now. All right, I'll call you when I think of a better plan. No. We need to talk this through. Or is there something you're not telling me? I'm not hiding anything. Just go. You know the kind of times we're in now. And I don't need to tell you what I've been able to achieve within a short period of time. And I give you a simple task to take care of. What did I get? Incompetence. Ineptitude. Now tell me, I want to hear your own side of the story. What happened? I am confused here, sir. You're confused? Why would you not be confused? When you could bungle a simple task, as simple as a fake kidnap attempt to scare of my daughter. I've heard about it. Someone called me from the campus to tell me. How did somebody get killed? Uh, sir, we have not even done the kidnap. Since you said you don't want the boys in the campus to pull the heat. So I, I am still watching everywhere to know the right time to. Are you trying to tell me here that someone else attempted to kidnap my daughter? Yes, sir. That's what it looks like. And the guy that was killed was not sent by you? Affirmative, sir. I want to know who it is. It's after my daughter. In as much as I know it might be to my advantage politically, I still want to know who it is that has the courage to dare me.
use every contact we have. And I want answers real fast. So the fist tattoo, you you okay? No, I'm fine. Just believe it's you. You sure? Yeah. Baby, I think you look frightened. What are the problem? You sure you okay? You got a problem, baby. Tell the Rasta. Rasta around things. Someone was killed in campus. Hmm. And he was a cultist. And now? I hear his fellow court members are threatening to unleash mayhem in campus. So you just never know. I had to start on Baby, you see me no care about them court boys and them problems. I think Rasta come to the school to study strictly. Could have turned a doctor, turn a lawyer, or even could have turned, you know, fly the aeroplane. That is my own passion. Uh -huh. See, no get time for that bit of business. Ranting. I told me to go to the class site. You said me could have said hi. Oh, nice. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, Never mind them. Now listen to me. We are talking about my son here. My first son. You are the vice chancellor of that university. And I strongly hold you and the entire university community responsible for the death of my son. I want you to tell me how it happened and who the killers of my son are. The sooner that information is made available, the better. Hello. This is General Jeremiah Joseph Jack, retired speaking. Officer, how far have you gone with the investigation? What? How dare you tell me that you have little evidence? Listen, officer, am, 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 am I supposed to make evidence available to you? Look at you. Your counterparts abroad will whip as little as a strand of hair, nearly crime suspect. Oh, am I supposed to buy equipment for you? Have we come to that? Huh? Oh, sorry, my foot. Sorry, my foot, officer. I want you to find the killers of my son and bring them to book. to know everything that is happening. Leave your school immediately and come down to Abuja as soon as possible. In fact, take the first flight tomorrow morning and meet me up in my hotel room. Thank you. 
you and and you and you. No hug for you. I'm oh, oh, hugging you guys. You. Oh, oh, oh. So what's going on? What's the gossip? Gossip? Yeah, gossip. Don't even deny it, all right? Because you're sitting here, you're not carrying any books, so you're definitely gossiping. In fact, you were so engrossed in the gossip that you forgot about me. If you want to join in this conversation, okay. just say so now. Eh? I don't come with this whole attitude. Okay, all right. Really? May I please join in the gossip? Good. Amen. Yeah, I'm just telling you yeah, that. You know, Mr. Ashton in school. I will not waste the money before traveling to my village because some of these are cheap bullets. It's going to find refuge in my body. And who is going to start shooting? Court members of the dead guy. And they've planned to wipe out everybody that is in connection with his death. The school is hot now. And I also heard that his father is a retired army general. And he's putting a lot of pressure on the school authority to find the killers of his dead son. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well. But you know, Abby, <laughs> you you are bad. You surprise me. It baffles me how you get all your news. I'm sure NTO will be <laughs> most honored to have you as your reporter. Mm. You're bad, you know. Yeah. You're bad. If that's a compliment, mm? I will take it. Mm -hmm. But if it's not, I'll have to sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now she's laughing. What's funny? You know, I mean, you think it's actually what you're saying that's making me laugh. So? I like. <clears throat> so? You know, Ujuma is right about you. You should consider working with NTO. It will work for you because you like a proco. Let's go. Are you going to get out of here or what? Let me join you. Ah! Stay. Stay. Are you coming? Hey! I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello? How are you doing? No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> My face. <laughs> I did. I did school. I did very science class. And now, <laughs> they come, they come, they come out. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Ada. Okay. Please. Okay, but. Hey, kid! Woo! Stop! <laughs> Were you actually coming to see me or just passing by? Um, I need your help. Wow! This is serious. Oh my god, I can't believe you could possibly be needing my help. <sighs> okay, so how may I help you, Mr. Handsome? Uh, I, I know you're good with communication stuff. There's a cell phone number I need you to help me trace. Hmm? And if I do it, what will be in for me? How much do you want? Come on, Ike. You know I don't need your money. You know exactly what I want. Oh, babe. babe, I have a girlfriend. There is no way I can cheat on my girlfriend by going out with you. Nobody likes being cheated on. This girl is not asking to go out with you. Just this side kind of thing where we hang out, stuff like that. Come on, Ike. You're making me doubt those guys that tell me how beautiful I am. And how many do you want to go to bed with me? Oh, yes, you are beautiful. I don't blame those guys, but that's not the point here. Can you help me? All right. I see this is really important. I'll do it for a weekend. Yeah, a weekend with you. Just you and I. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Oh, okay, 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 all right. Fine, you win. I take it. Good. So, can I have the number? All right. Here's the deal. This guy called me with a hidden number. Yeah. So... Mikey, come on. I know I'm good, but not good enough to track hidden numbers. Jesus. 
Ah, oh, there goes my weekend with you. Anyway, there is still hope. If you can accept to spend a weekend with me, that means you can as well go out with me. But what kind of trouble are you in? Are you doing it or not? Hello, you didn't listen to me. What is going on is simple. You are blocking my way right now. You shouldn't be attracting attention to us, please. Oh, yeah, why is that? Because we should not be seen together. Stay away from me. Really? Really? I should stay away from you? Okay, now. If you had anything reasonable in this thick skull of yours, you would know that this whole thing started because you were not smart enough to stay away from me. I was only trying to help you. And I don't remember asking for your help. You ingrate. Listen. Someone witnessed the incident. What? Oh, yes. And he's got my school ID card. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Act like we're not talking. All right, just act like we're not talking. It is only a matter of time before he makes a demand, which I'm not sure I can meet up with. And he's going to blow the whistle on us. Get it? See? I told you, the best we can do in this situation is to report ourselves to the police. And then we're going to have ourselves at war on two fronts. On one side, we're going to have Max court members. And on the other side, his armor general of a father. And I don't think any police or any lawyer in this world can save us from their combined wrath. Simple. Well, my father can buy us anything. Look, I don't want to hear anything about your father. <sighs> For the last time, act like we're not talking, right? Stay away from me until I can find a better hey, way to handle hey, this. Hey, let me tell you something. If you know what is good for you, you will stop telling me to stay away from you because you got me in this mess. Jesus. Did you just hear yourself? Did you just hear yourself like, I, I got you into this? Mm -hmm. No way! Hold it. You're not going to get angry because I know your type. Oh, really? You know my type? Yes. Yeah. Where is my type? Where am I? I'm oh, trying to be... Hey, sit down. Oh, baby! I don't go my life up for the rest of my life. Baby, what are you doing? Hey, rest of my life. I'm cool. What's the world, baby? Huh. The most beautiful and the world fine boy. Put up the, come on, put up a smile now, what the fun? <laughs> you hear that? Come on! Baby, you left me the car. daughter has accepted to join the rest of my family in the UK. Hey, Tony, don't. I want you to help us secure our mission into one of the best schools over there. Good. She has agreed to go. I'll be left alone. All in all in my world. To play this game. Politics. Whichever way. Whichever how. 
anybody wants it. Sydney, I signed what you told me on the phone. Is there any other thing I need to know? Well, sir, in the story of what happened, you should leak out. The doctor will be in trouble. And the boy that saved her? The same thing will happen to the boy. So, what is your general appraisal of the whole situation? Well, considering the fact that the deceased happens to be the son of General Jack, your political opponent, the case is even more severe. So we'll have to do all that we can to contain everything. Another one, sir. The members of his secret court had vowed that they would kill whosoever that killed him. So this is your area of specialization. By your assessments, how do we contain it? <coughs> well, I have structured our plans to separate the Joa from the boy. Also create a situation that will make it clear that the Joa was not there on the day of the event. Hmm. That sounds uh, a little reassuring. Go on, I'm listening. And uh, just in case the story should leak in any way, the boy will be the fall guy. But uh, let me ask, does she get along very well with the boy? They are both in the same faculty. They are all in the same faculty. Who, who is this boy in question? His name is Ikenna Enukor. The son of His Royal Majesty Igwe. If I eat Chuku and a girl. Hold on, Zim. Hold on. Did you say the boy's name is Ikenna Enukora? Prince Ikenna. Are you sure about what he just said to me now? I am certain. Is he bad news? No. Everything is just fine. I do not know how we descended so low. Our ivory towers have changed from institutions of higher learning where students were nurtured in character and knowledge to become shameful terrorist camps and war colleges. Cultism is now the only thing, Your Majesty. This is what angers me in the whole issue. I have vehemently refuse to accept that my son is a cultist. Because if I do, the school authorities will simply treat his death as an everyday thing. 
Besides, Your Majesty, it will deal a heavy blow to my political career. The shameful thing is that these young people are not fighting for the independence of a nation or even fighting for oil blocks. But they are just dying for nothing. Nothing. Your Majesty, I have put a lot of pressure on the police and the school authority to fish out my son's murderers. Oh, ah, you are you welcome. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. General, that's my son, Ikenna. He will soon be graduating from the prestigious University of the Southeast. Oh, really? Such a big boy now. Come. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, you must have heard of a student called uh, Mac Jack in the same university as you. He was murdered last year. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, yes. Oh, terrible. He was my son. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm deeply sorry. That um, let, let me leave you both to continue your discussion. I'll be in my room. It's only an animal that won't feel so disturbed when a fellow student gets murdered. I have been trying for years to get him out of that university and send him abroad to finish his education, but he wouldn't hear of it. I know many parents whose children keep pressurizing them to be sent abroad to study, but not my Ikenna. Really? Different strokes for different folks, you might say. This person. Well, General, please again accept my heartfelt sympathy. This is a burden we all have to bear. Did you know? Can't you ask me to come in? Yeah, sure. Come in. So, you seem to have been frequently here a lot lately. Yeah, well, this time around, I came to see you purposely. Me? Uh, yeah, uh, but don't doubt your father. Okay? Sit down. Go. Yes. You tried to convince me on the phone last night. Well, you did not do a wonderful job in it at all. My hunch only told me to abandon everything I was doing and come check on you. Well, Dad, that is so sweet of you. Mm. Thank you for coming. Now that you're here, we can go back together. Like I told you on the phone, I am done with this girl. You know what's going on? Huh? Nothing. You sound very desperate to me here. If there is nothing really wrong, you won't be sounding this way. Talk to Daddy. Tell me what is going on. Okay, okay. You saw through me. I want a change of scene. I am. I guess I'm still shaken by the whole 
a rape or kidnap attempt, whichever one it was. Daddy, I still get the creeps every time I go to the school compound and it feels like... Calm down. Calm down. There's really nothing to worry about. Okay? Now, I want you to know something. What happened was possible because I listened to you. Well, it is your turn to listen to Dad this once. What do you want me to do? You're going to stay back here and finish your studies. I have spread the word. Whisper to every appropriate ears. And should anything harmful, consciously or unconsciously, happen to you, heads will roll. Oh, God. That wasn't necessary. Nothing too good to elaborate for my daughter. And I don't even want to be here for another day. Really? Yeah. You have no idea when he's coming back. No, I wouldn't know that. Well, I don't have any idea where he went to. But not to worry. As soon as he comes back, I'll let him know somebody as beautiful as you came looking for him. Hmm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Remind me the name again, please. Adeze. Adeze. Tell him Adeze was here and he will understand. Bye. Oh boy. Chai. God, this one for this year, Bob. Hello. Well, I suppose you know who is coming. I have a task for you. And I want you to handle it with more diligence and sense of purpose than you have ever given to any ten in your entire life. And what, me and what makes you think I want to hear whatever you want to say or whatever you want? Huh? You don't have a choice here, do you? And the sooner you get that into your thick head, the better for you. Another thing, you need to stop asking stupid questions. Now, you can learn. You have today and tomorrow to make your partner in crime fall in love with you. My partner? My partner in crime? Bloody hell are you talking about? How, how the hell am I supposed to do that? And how is that supposed to be my problem? Did I remind you that failure to do that within a specified period would attract stiff and severe consequences? By the way, I don't even see how you're going to do that by running home. You can get your stupid body and soul back to school now. I will. I gave you a simple tax. But up till now, you have not given me any good news. What is wrong with you, Buchi? General, sir, we could have done it. But the death of the student of that institution triggered a high level of security consciousness. 
And uh, we are bidding for more time for tensions to come down. What is wrong with you? Must you kidnap her in school? What about her house? Does she not go for shopping anymore? Does she not go to the beauty parlors again? So a good number of plain clothes security men now go around with her. And we don't want to make any mistakes. Gucci, do you know the identity of the boy that was killed in that university? No, sir. But I, I, I learned his name was McJay. Sam. Yes. Tell him who McJay was. The chief. Yes. McJay is McJack. The general's son. What? I have lost something very dear to me. You will be a fool not to notice that I don't want any kind of failure from any of you. The only thing that will make me happy is to stop Senator Chigozie from clinching the party's nomination. Oh, shut up! You do not understand anything. Now, listen to me. I want Senator Chigozie's daughter kidnapped. That is the only thing that will show me that you understand. Do you understand? I can't believe what I saw in this publication. I've seen it already. I believe I know what you're talking about. Your Majesty, do you know that he's indirectly saying that you and the entire council have endorsed him as the Messiah everyone is looking for? You are surprised, but I'm not. I know that he's an evil wind that blows nobody any good. That was why on that day I stated that I didn't want to receive him. But you and the others insisted that we must receive him. And unlike me on such occasions, I agreed. Now we have brought it on ourselves. And we have to find the solution ourselves too. Your Majesty, I never knew it would get to this. After he came that day, as soon as he left, I asked the palace guards to return his money to him. I didn't want anything to do with his filthy money. Your Majesty, has General Jack seen this publication? I don't know. If he has, he did not disclose it. He was here not too long ago. Poor oh, man. His son was murdered in school. He was murdered in school. Is this what politics is getting into? Hey! My God! Why should they murder the innocent boy? If they are actually after General, why didn't they go for him direct? Why murder this innocent boy? We are yet to learn the full details of the case. Indeed, I'll ask my son. Oh, he might tell us more. He just came back from school. Um, so if I see my daughter coming, then I can answer to go ahead. Long live your majesty. Uh,
He's calling Ken now. You need to find out something from him. Yes. I'm actually here to tell you that Ken has gone back to school. He cannot has gone back to school? Yes. Why? What happened? He's only just arrived? He couldn't have just come back like that without even saying hello to me or letting me know? No. I guess something urgent came up and he needed to go back to school. Something urgent? Well, find out what this urgent matter is that took him back. He found the bullet to his father. And that's where we see that. Welcome, handsome. This is my second time of coming. I guess I'm lucky to meet you this time. All right. So why are you here? Well, I just wanted to know what you were doing at the exit spot McJay was killed the morning after his death. Are you insane? Hmm. I asked for an answer, not a question. Well, I do not know what you are talking about. Excuse me. Should I go on? Mm. Mm. Bros, this one no bad at all. She don't come before. That time when she come in, I'm looking from here. And I have to say, yeah, you also don't enjoy. You don't enjoy anyhow. As you do, you still think I'm... This is how you could be a music. You won't do. called his number several times but this stupid machine keeps telling me the number you're trying to reach is not available at the moment I don't understand the meaning of this you know how bad that one can be at times eh? please keep trying your majesty what I don't understand is why you should come home and then leave suddenly Without a word to me. It doesn't make sense. I'll try again later. The puzzle not just got in the dark. What were you talking about? Okay, now I see yours. So in love with my story. Desia, I really don't have time for your theatrics right now. Uh, right now, I am tired. I need to rest. So I suggest you say whatever you want to say. Now that I'm listening, say it quickly and get out. Fine. I believe you know where my dream was killed. All right. The next morning after he was killed, I found you at exactly that same spot. I did not attach much importance to it until you came asking me for help. And you would not be interested in tracing a telephone line if it's not something that serious. Nice. Brilliant story. I'm not finished. 
or let's just assume that you lost something at that same point, why fight it with Manche? Are you insane? I'm not finished. Well, I think you're finished. You are finished. Get out of my house. Okay. I'll go. I can see that you're not in a good mood to listen to my story. But it will interest my J's fat members to know what I have to say. Oh, 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 wait, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What are you driving at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. I see. Nothing. Nothing really. Just satisfying my curiosity. Curiosity? Well, you know what they say about curiosity and the cat? <sighs> if I remember what they said correctly, one killed the other, and that is what we're talking about here. Listen to me, Adesa. Someone just died, all right? There is tension in the air. It is not wise for you to go around saying things that could incite unforeseen violence. The rest assured, I won't ask anyone to turn violent. I will only tell my story. Oh, whoa, 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 Wait. 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 Fine. You got me. What do you really want from me? Nothing. Nothing? Would you mind if I come spend the night with you today? By your inability to get me Senator Chigozier's daughter and the head of the person that killed my son. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, you don't have to be sorry. You don't have to be. Because you will be sorry when I put a bullet through your head. Now, I am giving you one more week to get me Senator Chigozier's daughter and the person that killed my son take our life get out fool Yeah, Mary, come in. It's open. Mary, it's open! Ta -da. Oh. How did you get into my house and into my room? Mary! Oh, yeah, Mary. And what's the flower for? I got them for you. Especially for you. And you're gonna ask me to sit? You know, we have a suitcase in our hands, and the best you can do is bring me a bunch of useless flowers. Are you all right? I mean, maybe I'm too fast, but is this flower in any way supposed to be a solution to our problem? Um, not like... Oh, okay, fine. You see, we have a problem. I know we have a problem. Trust me, I am working on it. 
All right? You see, I read this book, and I learned from the book, when you are stressed, oh yeah. So I just thought, you know, I got, um, I get you the flowers, we go out, relax, unwind, and we'll be fine. Seriously, are you all right? You came to take me out by this time of the day? Of course. What time is it? It is 7 30 in the morning. You know, like you I don't need to read a book to know that you are getting very psychologically traumatized. I think you learned the situation hit you harder than you think. Oh no, I'm fine. Trust me, I have never been better. Believe me. You see, oh well, who's follows? The guy told me they are the best. So I decided to get the best for you. And I think we We, we have a problem! We killed someone! Do you get okay? No. You killed someone, all right? And don't be coming here bringing me. Whoa, 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 don't look at me like that. Or oh, you want to kill me too? I ain't killing anybody. Am I killing? You think I'm deaf? I just heard you telling the came now about you guys killing someone. You, I don't believe you. When are you going to tell me about it? You want to start talking? Yes, who is it? Lovers I see in school. I'll think about it. Oh my god. That is so nice. Oh, I'll be waiting. Seven PM. Let's do dinner. What are you doing here? A little business brought me into town, and I decided to pay you a surprise visit. Come on, you can hear it. Come on. I don't like this though.
Listen to me. I don't know what pain you are playing. I don't know who you are. But I want to tell you this. I have had it out. What am I even saying? I'm already drowning in it. Right? And at this point, I do not give a damn. Stay away from me. You get me? Stay away. Now you listen. If you ever cut the phone on me again, or ever speak to me in that manner again, you wouldn't know what hits you. Now, Ikeni, I want you to call the Jonga as a follow up. Thou already made plans. No! Are you screaming at me? No, 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 I'm not screaming. Yeah, I'm not screaming. I'm not screaming. Huh? I'm not screaming. What do you want me to do? What else do you want me to do? I went to her place this morning. I, I tried to talk to her. She refused to speak to me. What else do you want me to do? What? Listen, I don't know who you are, but I beg you. Why don't you just cut out this whole this game you're playing? Tell me how much you want. Any amount, all right? Tell me, I'll, I'll get the money, I'll look for the money, give it to you, take it, buy anything you want, get yourself a car, whatever, just, just leave me alone, please, I beg you, get... How do you even think you are? Cut the phone on me! Huh? Huh? You think you're a man? Whoever you are, if you think you're a man, why don't you just call? Show me up and let me get me! Both of all these people, you're a bloody thing! Tell me. Maji, right? Yes. Yeah, I heard about his sad death. We have every reason to believe that his death wasn't court related. And we appreciate any help in terms of uh, information and direction. Is there anything you have to tell me about him? I didn't really know much about him, not until after his death. What's the general view of students about his death? Nothing much. They just think it's a normal casualty, or rather the usual casualty of cult wars. Melly, you have every right not to touch. You're justified to walk me out of your room right now. I've been a certified jackass. But I really need your help on this. If there is any little information you have or have somewhere, please, I beg of you, you need to need your help now. I, I don't really have anything, but I can help with some snippets of information. Like? Well, it's... Hey. Hello. Ike. You know you shouldn't have done what you did with Ujuma. What? 
She told me everything. So don't even feign ignorance. Everything? Yes. So? So? Listen to me. I'm not here to judge either of you. But I need you to know that Ujo and I are friends. And we look out for each other. We you did put her in a very dangerous position. Stop, stop telling me to, to come down. No, no, just, just, just hear me. What happened is that? All right, it was an accident. We didn't mean it to happen that way. Thank you. I beg you in the name of God. This between us. Don't let anyone else hear about it. All right? You need to understand the importance of her. No one will hear about it. But if you get her pregnant again, I will make sure she doesn't go for an abortion. How could you even do that? You won't kill another baby. But if she tries to, I will tell everybody about it. And you know, send one for that matter. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Eh? Have I made myself? Of course. Fine. Me, I won't do it again. Hello? Ikenna? Ikenna, what's going on? You came home, and before I knew it, you have left in a hurry. I have been trying to reach you on the phone, but your line has not been connecting. Ikenna, is everything all right? Oh, forgive me that. I'm very sorry about the way I left. Oh yeah, I, I got an urgent call about some trumpet I'm doing with my, my group mate, so I just I just have to leave. So that it was not intentional. School work, you know how it is. School work. Look, that what I'm trying. That I'll make it up to you, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye. Ah, uh, uh, hello. Hello, Ikenna. Hello, Ikenna. I what on earth is going on? I'm sorry I was rude to you this morning. It's just that the pressure of this whole thing is really getting at me. It's all right. It's all right. Like I told you, I'm working on it. And when the right time comes, we'll go to the police and ease the burden off our hearts. Uh, what about his fellow cultists? You said they'll kill us. Yeah, that's why I said I'm working on it. When the right time comes, they will believe our story, okay? And they'll see that, see it like an accident. Nobody will kill us. Fair enough. So, what was it you were saying in the morning? Where are we going? Trust me. Wait, is this another kidnap? Of course not. Just come. Trust me. Go, 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 go.
This could be it I think I'm in love It's love this time It just seems to fit I think I'm in love Um, I need a bottle of Star and a packet of cigarettes Benson precisely There's a guy I'm looking for. I don't know whether you've seen him around. What is the name? Uh, the name is... Uh, Pepsi. Uh, he usually goes around. No, I've not seen that. No. Uh, uh, what of a uh, German? German. He usually come here to... Buy some drinks. Oh, I assume people come in here to take some drinks, but I'm gonna get back to What are you planning? I just want to scream. You want to scream? Why? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, I want to scream. I, I want to scream and let everybody know that I have declared my love for you on this day in years to come. Oh, yes. So I want to scream and get the attention. No, <laughs> don't do that. You're not crazy, and don't be crazy now. All right, I'm not crazy, I'm not going to be crazy now. So can I ask you? No! Thank you! <laughs> no, no, no! Listen! Everybody, I love her, I love her so much! It's... Don't do that, what's wrong with you? I don't know. I love you. Believe me, I really love you. You love me? Yes, I love you. I love you so much. Look, I, I, I understand. Um, you, you don't have to tell me right now that you love me. Okay, I know it has to grow, so I'm going to give you time, all right? But truth is, I do love you. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll think about it. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> One more thing. One more thing. Can we do dinner? Hmm? Oh, you want me to scream about it? No, no, oh, no, 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 Everybody listen to me. I love this beautiful woman so much. She is driving me crazy. Stop it, stop it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do dinner with you, but on one condition. Okay, you too. No, no. Yeah. 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 I promise. I'm going to what? what? I'm, oh. leaving. Don't leave, don't leave. I'm embarrassed here. God, you don't leave me like that. You still want me to scream? No. Why not? Why are you here? Come on. I heard that you're my chase ex. Please, where are you? You don't need to know who I am. McJay was our boy and so important to us that an XYZ like me had to come down to investigate and met out appropriate punishment for the perpetrator. I don't know anything about his death. Please, I seriously don't want any troubles. We will not spare anybody that has a hand in his death and we will equally reward anyone that helps us in our investigation. Do you have anything to tell me, or do I assume you're against us? God forbid. I can't be against you. Good. So do you have anything to tell me? Well, I don't know if this will mean anything to you. 
but You know something, Carl? The Bible talks about the sweetness of wine. And victory is as sweet as wine. Even when you hurriedly get it, you need to relax, savor it, enjoy it. Just like we enjoy wine. <laughs> I am not sad. Oh. Why the sudden change of mind? Her life could be in danger in that school, yet you choose to leave her there. After I have um, finished all the preparation for her to school in the UK. Kami. She's my daughter. And I know her too well. You see, she might be as sweet as wine, she can be as stubborn as a male. Anyhow, Sydney called me to tell me that things are already heating up between the prince and her. Well, for her sake, we could have found a less risky way of matchmaking them. <laughs> Kadi, you're not thinking of going to see the king himself. Because if you are, then you are a very big moron. It won't work. If my daughter, that I know, gets the slightest suspicion of matchmaking in this, then everything we work for will go down the drain. My distinguished senator, if you can see the king against his will, I believe you can make him do whatever you want. the palace. It will take a little more than persuasion for the king to see me again. Much less it talks about us being in laws. You are there, sir. You are there. So, you know what we're going to do? Let us concentrate on the youngsters. Let us keep working on them. Very soon, every piece of the puzzle will fall in place when they fall in love. Yes, yes. So that's the game. You're learning in the job. Yes, I believe it's I'm learning now. Yeah. <laughs> so, the issue is that Everybody in the school believed that Mark was a cultist. And for that, nobody is ready to volunteer any information. Yes, sir. They said that since he was killed by uh, a rival court group, that uh, anybody that tries to volunteer any information stands at risk of being hunted down too. Yes, sir. Um, so I'm making an arrangement for a, a phony government uh, party and I'm working on a girl that's going to bring the senator's daughter into the party and uh, she becomes our mate once she steps into the venue. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you have to believe me. Just believe me. Everything is going to work as a plan. Thank you, sir.
Okay, so what are you playing outside dressed up like that? I don't even know. You don't even know? Let's just say I'm still making up my mind whether to just go out or go back to sleep. Well, if you are thinking of taking yourself out, I know you so much. Nothing good is going to come out of it. So please go inside and catch some sleep. <sighs> well, Charity, actually, someone was supposed to come and take me out. But it has passed our agreed time. And I don't want to call him on the phone, so I won't sound any alarm of desperation. Ha! Huh. That is not nice of him, you know. But go inside and sleep. Well, that would be nice of me either. Yeah, let's go inside and sleep. Okay. Try to do what? Since I'm already dressed up to go out, I have two choices to make. Either to go back to sleep or go out. And I choose going out so you can go back to sleep. Well, see you in the morning. How did you get into my house? Don't you think you are actually biting more than you can you? You don't want to know how I got into your room. And as for biting more than I can shoot, let's leave it for another day. Oh, so what now? Am I supposed to thank you for returning my ID card? Yeah. I must say that you really had fun today. I mean, it wasn't even difficult for you to get her to fall in love with you. <laughs> you are natural, boy. You are too natural. But you know one thing, you must have to keep things the way they are right now. They must continue to remain like this. Listen, I have done everything you asked me to do. Don't you think it's high time you think just one thing for me? One. Leave me alone, please. You might be tempted to, you know, talk back at me right now or even act uh, inappropriately because you have your ID card now. But one thing I must let you know is that if I were you, I would even tread more carefully because you can now, uh, I can say, squeeze your ball anytime. Get that into your head. Getting you so excited. Oh, hell no! So, because I'm not seeing you like this in donkey years. What went down? Ike. Ike is such a sweet, nice guy. Yeah, he is. And you know what? I haven't had this much fun in a long, long time. I'm glad you have fun. Yeah. Seriously. Come sit and tell me about him. You've been dating him secretly. How come you didn't know he's this sweet? Well, it's like you said. Secret love. Secret love is shit, you know. There's nothing as fulfilling as declaring love for each other in public. I tell ya. I know what they say about making up after a quarrel. So tell me there. Did you get out? I'm not telling you that. You told me, I'm afraid. You know, you are such a sport. Oh, tell me, I'm afraid. Am I telling you? That's not fair. I'm not telling. Even if we do, this is none of your business. Well, this is just like they do it in the movies, mm. you know, 
being voice saves girl from danger. And next thing you know, there you are. <laughs> so in this situation, who saved who? Huh? Huh? Who saved who? No, no, I, I didn't mean it like literally. I'm just saying yeah, that's the kind of love we share for each other now. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Thank you. In the meantime, I comforted the not to go. I told him that if he ever hurts you again, I will kill him myself. And I mean every word of it. And you are such a dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet, I can't get mad at that. <laughs> but not to worry, you wouldn't have me. <laughs> but now I'm just gonna have to make it. Tell me about it. Shut up! 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 The more I think about this, the more I feel like an idiot that has just been taken for a donkey ride. This was just an ID. An ID that could have dropped off anywhere. This monster couldn't have used this to control me all this while if I wasn't filled with the guilt of what happened. Ah, oh. and now, uh, you have to get out of this stupid fast way, Ujumwa, before it gets any deeper. Oh, come fine. Okay, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh my god, your ID! Oh yes, it was dropped off at my place last night. So, I think... I think it's over. Oh wow. Oh yes, like right now he's got nothing against me. Ah, uh, the blisters. They no longer have anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is great. So now we should celebrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah we should. We just... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Of oh. course, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. fine. I was just thinking of... You think about what? I was just thinking of the best way to celebrate that. Do you know? I'm thinking about after lectures. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You take this. Be goodbye and okay. look at your lips. <laughs> you may want to watch that. My friend. Okay. Take it easy, though. Take it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come check them out. Yeah. Yeah. Please, can I talk to you for a second? No. On the contrary, can I talk to you for a second? Whatever it is you want to talk to me about, start to skim your way in between my legs. Isn't that what all men want? Go dust your ass, man. Find yourself some cheap girls and tell them your cheap lies. I only want to talk about the brutal quarrels you had with your ex-boyfriend, Mac J, before he died. What is your problem? My problem is that I am finding it hard to believe that a beautiful girl like you could be a murderer until you showed me your temper. So, what am I supposed to make out of that? You have a motive to kill Mac J. And having seen your temper, I don't have any hard time to believe that. You can do it. You are ridiculous. I don't know who you are or what you want. Just leave me alone. This is, this is preposterous. What makes you think I killed my Jay? A couple of months ago. 
Mark and I dated for a while until I found out he was cheating on me with a daisy. I kicked against it, but I realized it was already too late because a daisy was pregnant for him. So I called it quits and I moved on with my life. You moved on without threatening him? Yes. And you never had anything to do with Mark again? How could I? How could I when on one hand, Mark wasn't man enough to stand up for me or to even apologize for cheating on me? And on the other hand, Adizzy was insisting she was going to give birth to the baby and that Mark was going to get married to her. Did you have any quarrel with this Adizzy? We did. We did as she threatened to do it in every way necessary. Do you think one of such necessary ways was to kill Mark? Maybe. But if she was the person that killed Mark, it wouldn't have been because of me. Losing the baby might have led her to... She lost the baby? I heard they had a quarrel. And it led to a fight. Mark beat her into a pulp. And she bled and lost the baby. Although they tried keeping it a secret. But unfortunately for them, the hospital Mark took her to belong to my elder brother. And I happened to be there that day. Shall I continue? I don't understand what you're talking about. Who told you all these lies? You don't need to know who told me. But I'm sure you've got my message. Do we hear from us, son? Look, I am not a troublemaking type. I love my peace. And I want to move on like every normal student. I understand. Wait. I admit, I had a problem with Mark J. But I didn't kill him. I swear, it's true I took him away from Choma. But I couldn't have killed him. If you're looking for a killer, Make Choma talk, and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for that piece of information. But who are you, by the way? You're supposed to be more concerned about what will happen to you, and not my identity. never cease to walk. Rattle them and watch from a distance as they spill it out.
What? Let's get out of the room. What did you say? Let me. We start the whole thing. Clear. The kissing thing. No. <laughs> Seriously, you know what? You were such a huge cousin. Come on. Oh, uh, no. Admit it. Because this is why you stopped me. You're in love. Well, even if I was, it wouldn't mm. be your business, would it? Oh, come on. Are you my friend? And he, my friend. Uh huh. Are you not say friends make them friends business get business? Huh? Well, I don't have time for this. I got to go. Oh, come on, oh, baby. Me. Come on. You know, Rastafari, I'm going to be a witness upon this one. You know something? What? At the world day hash, the sun too hash. Mm -hmm. But the moment I set the both of you down there, everything went dim. Even the weather go bad for you. You joke. A good love, baby. No, no, you support that. <laughs> come on with the loving team, You're baby. You're with today. No, baby. I'm not in mood for it. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. Can you keep loving on? What? You, no, but you see, we like this love. You do. Wale. Right? Well, you do. Yeah, right? baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, I feel love. But I still think her security is not guaranteed. It's very risky, sir. Oh. Sir. Everything in life. And about life evolves around risks. If I bring my daughter out of where she is and send her abroad, is there any probability the flight she's going to be on board will crash? Yes, sir. You see, we eat every day and enjoy our meals without the little commissions that should or if the food gets into the wrong trap, our lives will be in danger. You are right, sir. But in this case, we are fully aware of the danger facing her in that school. She's my daughter. I know her much more than any other person in this whole world. I have sent in more boys for our security. And I'm 110 percent sure that she's very well protected. And I know that whoever it was that attempted to kidnap her the first time will attempt to do it again. And with the big top security I put in place, I will certainly get to know who it was. In the first place that did that, and that will enable me to know who my enemy or enemies are. So, sir, it's not all about getting her together with the prince, but also using her as a bait. The man has got to do what the man has to do. I think I now want to see the truth.
Hmm? I am not saying this is wrong or anything with that. She's a big girl and I believe she knows what is good for her. What I'm saying in that sense is that she is falling for him too fast. You know your problem. You don't listen to people. You don't even have the patience to do so. Okay. 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 Then rub it in. You know, you girls are just crazy. This is me you're talking about. And I'm right here. It's my relationship you're talking about. Juma, just keep quiet and listen to us. You're the one who is here. And you already know any push of this size of relationship. Eh? But who has you? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Did you say criticize? Are you by any chance? Criticize my relationship. Don't forget, Pochina. Just smash. Criticize. Really? Um, sure. You'll be fine. <laughs> and what is the difference between both of them, dummy? What? You know, obviously, both of you are just jobless. Um, <clears throat> you know, Iken and Juma, they've been seeing themselves secretly for a while now. So this whole thing isn't just start manifesting. Oh my god! I should have known this. Hmm. 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 Great. What? Because I know you are so smart. It's the most sector perfect, just like that. Hmm. It's a cute guy, though. Cute. She has cute guys flocking over her. There's one in her class. Maybe what's his name again? That one now. Who? In your class. Sydney, yes. His name is Sydney. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sydney? Mm. Yeah, I know him. That's a um, Rastafarian guy. Mm. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. It's Sydney. Sydney acts weird sometimes. Like, really? There are times I feel like, like he's stalking me. Yeah. And other times I just let the feeling go because he's been like that around me since all you want. You know what? I'm not going to get him to start liking me. Hmm? You're just so foolish. Anyway, are you guys getting my letter my visual? What? Girl, I'm not thinking about that right now. Let's let's graduate first, and then this is Mrs. Rastafarian. <laughs> Don't get me started. So, so, so try. Range of matches, as as in the section we play first in seconds, as in the one that has mating ritual, which begins with the female biting off the male. Okay. Hey. What? 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 What do you want? I will pretend you did not ignore my calls. So now we would move to the next level of our partnership. Bloody next level are you talking about? Huh? And what makes you think I'm interested in whatever you want to say? Listen to me. I am done with you. You get me? I am done. And I advise you, go somewhere else and do something useful with your time. Ikenda, you will propose marriage to Ujunga tomorrow. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I know I've been dealing with a raving lunatic all this while. Get off my back! You hear me? Get off! 
You think you can just, just call my phone and stop talking about it, Ash? Huh? I am done with your stupid games. You mean I'm done? Well, I suppose because I have given you back your ID. So, you feel like uh, you've got it all sorted out. Isn't it? Oh, yeah! Well, you, 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 you blamed me for a fool all this while and had me running around in circles for nothing. But you know what? Fine, you won. But right now, I have had it up to here. I am nobody's fool. You get me? And again, I am not a coward. You get me? I am not a coward. You want to show your face? Show your face! Let me deal with you. If not, stay away from me. I understand your anger. You want to have a shot at me, isn't it? Oh yes! Of course I want to have a shot at you! I want to kick your ass! Well... Let us see how... brave... you are... you can... Don't you bring it on! You want me to bring it on! Bring it on! Let me do it! You mean I am ready? At this point, I am ready! I want to do anything that I need to do! You mean you think you can just this is a right? I do, I do not! Are you crazy? What, what am I supposed to do with your phone? Huh? Then why, why were you knocking on my door? You only broke my head because I knocked on your door. If I disturb your busy schedule, I am sorry. Forgive me. Look, Oluma, I, I don't have time for your bullshit, right? Huh? Answer me! Are you, are, you, are you the one who's been calling my phone? But who did? He said I was the person he called. He called me a couple of minutes ago. And he said, anytime he flashes my phone again, I should come back on your door. Yes. And I knew he spoke to me if, if, if I didn't knock on your door, he's going to kill me. Let me, let, let, let me have his number. He called with a known number. <sighs> Stay away from my door. You get me? Stay away from my door. See, you now. When two elephants fight, the grass so fast. I don't know what this whole problem is all about. But if it's a brother that I saw here the other day, stay away from her. That's the advice I'll give to you. Stay away from her. He can now. Aiki, what sort of game do you think you're playing with me? I don't understand. Because I said you had something to do with Mad's death. You went and conspired with that fool to turn the table against me, right? Oh. You will not succeed. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. But hold on a second. Did you have a hand in my Jay's death? No! So why would I think that? Aiki, don't play dumb with me. You sent that guy. What guy? What have I been talking about here since? You sent the guy to question me about Mark's death and he even threatened me. Threatened you? I don't know. Can you tell me about this guy? Please, I don't want to see him again. He should stay away from me. I did not kill Mark. I don't even know how he died. 
Tell me about this guy. I don't know his name, but he's powerfully built. Your mother said that traveling what to do here. How is your family? My family is fine. And your son? I have just told you, Senator, that my family is fine. And my son happens to be a part of my family. No, but I was only trying I do not really know what you want from me, Senator. Well, you just said it all. Because I have not said anything in particular, okay, that I wanted. Okay? But I've just come to inform you that uh I am beginning to look beyond my party primaries because I know I'm the chosen one. But rather, I'm thinking of giving the presidential election a shot at. Good luck to you. And no, 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 Your Majesty. I'll be needed much more than good luck. You see, um, a lot of people see you as a mere traditional ruler. But you and I know that the political clout you exude transcends the ordinary. Now you are telling me. I need your support. Senator Chigozi Agunja, do I need to remind you that whatever we had together in the past has been severed a long time ago? Oh, no, on the contrary, Your Majesty. You will agree with me that we we'll still have a lot to make out of it. Yes, we've moved on. We're all responsible people, families, name them. But you see, in politics, there are no permanent enemies, no permanent friends, just permanent interests. Senator, you're wasting your time. You are wasting your time. Can you uh, oblige me the privilege to extend a kind gesture to you by taking care of your son's education from where he is right now to any level he chooses to get to? Stay away from my son. He does not need your filthy money. Nor do I need help from anybody to train him. You are rich. Very rich. Very rich. But I sincerely do hope you have not forgotten uh, Southeast University. Senator Chigozia Guncha, if anything, happens to my son. I will make every effort and marshal all the arsenal in my power to come after you. Keep away from my son. Keep away from my family. Keep away from my house. Do you read me loud and clear? Yes, your wife. Hi. Hi. I was just wondering if you could spare me five minutes of your time. And who are you? I am. I'm a Desert Chibeke, a third year student of electrical engineering. Actually, I'm here to talk to you about something that has to be finished. Go on. The king has been going through loss of stress recently. 
Which is The one you and I know. I see. And this thing? A student was recently killed in campus. And he's somehow connected to it. Well, let me not bore you with the details. You know men under such stress tend to fancy any girl around them at that particular point in time. Did he cannot tell you that he was involved in the murder of the student? <laughs> you know how men talk in the heat of lovemaking. Yeah. But he wasn't that specific. He was making love to you? Of course! Are you surprised? That's what lovers do. You and Ike now love us? Exactly. And that brings me to the main reason why I'm here. Which is... I know he's under a lot of pressure right now. But if what he's doing with you will make him relax, I don't have a problem with that. I will only have a problem if after all this is over, he still sees you. You realize you're not making sense. Don't put whatever you have with you right now in mind, because it is only temporal. He's my boyfriend, and I know him better than you do. You've been very nice to him of recent, and I don't want him to break your heart. Now that's enough. Get out. My pleasure. Get out! <laughs> What do you want? I give you instructions. That this is supposed to be checked. And you really think I was going to put that into consideration, huh? It is number one on the list of things you're supposed to do today. And of course, you, can, you don't have a choice, do you? Well, that is where you are wrong. You hear me? You are so bloody wrong. I do have a choice. You get me? I have a choice. And you know what? I Yeah, man. Rasta Monte. Rand. You wash it. I will for time. Rand is something so rawi. Rasta man leave it up. Why? School round still, school round. Hey! Give me your phone, right? You hear me? Give me your phone! Hey, what's that? Why would I give me my phone? <laughs> you slap me! Now I'll slap you again! Give me your phone! Hey guys, go, 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 please! What's the problem? Tell me why you not let me have some peace! Huh? Give me your phone! I'm not giving you my phone! I'm not giving you my phone! Why do you I don't know! This guy has been calling me! He's been threatening my life! Threatening to deal with me! He just called me right now! Let me give your phone! Jesus Christ! You make any call now? Yes, I did make a call now! Sorry, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on, come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Let me see your phone. See, you can go through my call logs and see if maybe I've made any call with hidden number. And you can also check my sentence. Shut up, that's enough. Jesus Christ! There's nothing like that here. Give me. Jesus Christ! You know what? Tell whoever that sent you that you didn't see me. Like seriously. Sorry. Your what? Your come, 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 come. No, 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 no. Wait, let me flush out this shit. Come, come, come. Free. I'm away, free. Free. I'm a, this guy don't slap me. Free. Free. Wait, this guy don't hide. What's the way to now? Relax, relax. You know what? You know This guy no reach. No, you enter can't see us. You know, you go reason. I don't see how my bitch.
Problem if you see it. What are you talking about? Okay, let's go somewhere and talk about it. Look, I am fine. You right? There's nothing to talk about. I am. I'm fine. Is this the reason you've not cared to check up on me all this while? Oh, God. No, okay, okay, after today, I'm going to check up on you, okay? After today, I'll check up on you. Look, thing is, I have issues. All right? So many things I need to take care of. I need to work on things. Just, just let me be. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm sorry. But we can actually work on it together. Oh God, can you just let me be, please? You know, but I came here to see you. Hello, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. I am so, so fine. I just have a lot of things, you know, school work bothering me, but I'm good. Can uh, you give me a cause to worry? But if you say that everything is fine, I will believe you. Uh, just take care of yourself, all right? Oh, oh, yes, Dad. Like I said, everything is fine. You have nothing to worry about, eh? except your concern over something else. I'm only concerned about you, my son. But since you assure me that everything is okay, we'll continue to pray for you. Just take very good care of yourself. Yes, so please, Dad, continue to pray for me. I really appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your care, everything. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, Dad. Thank you. You even lied to your father, and you expect me to leave you alone in this condition. Shh! I'm fine. All right? I am fine. You know you're not. You're not fine. Okay, if it's about the worried face, look at me. Good. Lena! Yeah, I'm going to try and go to Apple. Hmm. Abi? Where's she coming from? Hi! Has any of you seen Kina? No. Have you seen Kina? Me, but I don't know. I'm going to have some daddy in the school waiting for you. Um, if any of you see him, just tell him. I'm looking for him. Tell him to call me because I've, I've been calling him. Don't worry, I'll keep looking. Are you okay? Yeah. Maybe she's on heat. Hmm? Oh, come on, you're so crazy. Uh-uh, babes! Let's talk. You're mad. Uh-uh. You know, sometimes I just don't understand you. Hello? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually out of town. Yeah, I'm out of town. I went to fix a couple of things. So I'll call you when I get back. What? Okay. You're not out of town and you know it. Who was with the lies, Ikena? Who was with the lies and who was that on the phone? One of my clients. Clients? Ikena, I know you're a student. And I know you don't have any other business. Okay. What sort of services do you render to this client of yours? Not to worry. You'll get to know in due time. What's with the long face? You took my call earlier today. And you told me you were out of town fixing what I don't know. Subsequently, you refused taking my other calls. You didn't even bother to check up on me. You didn't call me back. Would it surprise you that I know the reason? I can explain. It's not intentional. I came to talk to you. He didn't come to talk to me. So hold your peace and let me finish. I thought you were different. I really thought. You were different. But now I know that you belong to the group of men that they've and nothing but play for us. 
What? Hold it! Hold it! Hold it, Ikenna. Okay, you are nothing but a disgusting swine! I don't blame you. I blame myself for falling so cheaply for you. Please. Hey, my God, why, 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 why are you saying all this? You know, there's no need holding on to anything. So I'll just lay off my mind. Who oh, is that daisy to you? Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, so, so she got to you. Look, I beg you, right? I, I beg you, in the name of God, don't take anything she tells you to heart. She's just trying to scheme her way into my life. She is a liar. She's a liar. A bloody, 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 bloody liar. And how does she get to know about us and my Jane? How? Easy, easy. I don't know. I, I think she's just doing some guesswork and she wanted to use it to blackmail me. You know, so, so I can start dating her. Yes, she's using it to see if you can... When was it you told her? When you were making love to her? Oh. Oh, wait, let me guess. God. You didn't make love to her? Look, I... Didn't you? Can you just drop your... Put it down, all right? I'm, I'm trying to concentrate here. You know, it, 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 things are just, it's just jamming in my head. Listen, I went to her. I went to her. I told her to help me through um, the guy that was calling me, you know, and threatening me over my, my school ID card. All right? I didn't know she saw me looking for my card at the spot where Mark J died. And then she got thinking, like, if, if I was there looking for something and then someone was threatening me, that means I was in trouble. Look, she's just doing this to get to you, to push you away from me, that's all. I now know who the liar is. So you know what to do? Keep your freaking distance away from me. But baby, baby, it's me. Don't okay. touch me! Tell this guy when he calls. I think say God will punish you. God will punish you. Do you think I have all the time in the world? Now you listen to me, Sydney. I want to get my daughter out of that school. Again. That depends on how fast you move things. Now stop fooling around and get this job done. Once we get them married, we ship them off to any country of their choice. Now you keep quiet and listen. I have forgiven you for today. And you have all the tomorrow to redeem your stupid soul. You cannot. You will propose marriage to a junior tomorrow. And I hope to God that she accepts you. Those pictures will find their way to some certain people that will make you feel like you were never born. Even your mother will not be able to help. Paul, I have not been able to sleep very well these days. All because of my son. 
Last night was the worst. Because the way he sounded when I spoke to him on the phone was not in the least reassuring. You got perceived it from your voice. And I came as early as I could. If only you could tell me what it's all about. Of course. I didn't want to bring it to your office because I don't want it to be official yet. There is this weird behavior I've noticed from my son recently and it's got me worried. What kind of weird behavior? I I'll come to that later. Meanwhile, a couple of days ago, Senator Chigozia Wuncha was here. He believes that I'm not in support of his presidential aspirations. And he tacitly made his unhappiness about it known to me. He purposefully asked after my son. And to be honest with you, I noticed a hint of a threat to my son's life from his speech. This is very serious, Your Majesty. Threat from coming from a senator. If this is not handled properly, the press might blow it out of proportion and definitely the center will not hold. That is why I'm asking you to look into it. Not just as a state security agent, but as a personal friend. This is a favor I'm asking from you. Iwe, what do you want me to do? I don't know if there's a connection between what the senator said to me and my son's weird behavior in recent times. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. But I also want you to know that I'm duty bound to make it official if there is any news. Oh, I understand. I understand. Thank you for coming. I am counting on you. Yes. Thank you. You may. Sam. Were you expecting Senator Chico there to make it a public knowledge? that someone wanted to kidnap his daughter. Something like that, sir. He only leaked it the way he did. Because he knew that whoever wanted to kidnap his daughter is not some cheap upstart who wants some chicken change, but some political opponent who wants to break him. With due respect, General, that doesn't quite make sense to me. Sam. Sam, Sam. <laughs> In this game called politics, you don't always have to think like yourself. Sam? Sir. You must learn to think like your political opponents and enemies. Huh. Um, but sir, if not for the sloppiness of those boys, the, the kidnap issue would have been a foregone conclusion by now. From the way the senator dropped the hint, it is evident that some other persons, other than us, wants to kidnap his daughter. Sam, there are many ways to catch a rat other than setting a trap. I don't want the senator's daughter in any other hand other than ours. No problem, sir. The next issue of importance is the visit of Senator Chigoze to the palace of Igwe Ifan Ichuku Enukora. Sam, Sam. 
Ooh, Sam. We don't have a case with whoever decides to visit the monarch. Ours is to tighten the grip on him and make sure he delivers when the time comes. No problem, sir. Together, we know that. Hear the children crying. I hear the children crying. Oh, Rasma, Rasma, wait up, wait up, wait up. Stand stand together, and I will feel all right. What about man? Rasma, I, I need your help. Me help? Uh, yeah, yeah, I need your help. I, I know, I know you're close to Jonah. Oh. Okay, I, I need you to help me, Porter. Why? Fine face, I need me here. Rastafari around there. So what I've got to do, my man? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. You see, we have this misunderstanding mm. about some, some crazy girl. Her name is Adesi. Yeah, she's just been all over me. She's mm. everywhere, you know. She, she wants me to date her, but God knows I don't have anything to do with her. Wow. You know, she's just messing up things for me. You know what else? Some red light district business. Yeah, red know. water. Yeah. Why, well, so you want, you want me to do a thing or a thing around it? Yeah, yeah. Like so you have to run down the details? No, let me break it down. Right? I, I don't know what she told the girl, but she must have told us some lies. Right now, do what believes that, and I'm just going to hell, man. I mean, you know that, you know, them video could they just stop things over, but why? Say, between a man and a man, tell me the truth. You have a thing to do with her or not? Truth? Tell the truth and let God just to fall and free your soul. I know, I know. You do anything? One thing? Two? No, 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 no. Ma, you tell me lie now. Rasta man. Rasta man. One. No, that. No problem. Yeah. One thing I want in and the list I know that. You know. Can you just listen to me? Hey. Okay. One. Thank you. One. Well, I think it was. Then, then, after that, she's just been all over me. Mm. She just won't let me be. Mm. You know, I, I thought I could just do it, you know, just sign up, but. You know, when a man do a one thing, you could have turned to two city girl and hook up. And since that, you know, I'll let you know, right? Oh, yeah. You know that, you know, them love the fine boy thing. A big thing, you want. <laughs> Why? No worry, man. The man. No worry, man. So, you want me to run things with you? Yeah, you know, help me. Help me, from you, Joe. Let her know I'm still there for you. What happened with the mistake? You know, we just, we just, we just, we just, we just, Rust man around things and things on the wrong way. Never mind what me I do, boy. You see, the world and baby up around about the campus. Rust man around things. We gotta talk to her. Never mind. But you know what I'm saying next time, boy? You know, say one love walk, two love go walk. Yeah, no, no. Where you carry this thing, man, one day, never go. Pshh. Easy now, easy. One love. Rust of fire, right? Yeah. One love. You got a thing to tell me, more. I know, I know. I know what you want. Like, once you're done with this. Uh, come on, you got to do it. You owe me one now! No, man, just do your thing. Do it for me. Alright? Rust the man. Rust this! I think it's the right way! Why, love? Why? The man, them do things, they want me to run things, them. No, man, boy, we're going to run things for you. Let me see the photographs you gave to Sydney. What do you call this? So I took a photograph of the guy that was making the roll with the asset. And later, Sydney asked me for the pictures. Shut up! Just shut up! Can't you see my daughter's face is obvious here? And there's nobody that will see these photographs and not recognize that she's my daughter. So those are for your eyes only. These are the ones I gave to Sydney. I blood your daughter's face. Nobody will recognize her. Let me warn you. If this photograph ever surfaces anywhere else, I will kill you. And kill your entire family. Am I clear on that? Yes, sir. So I promise you it won't. Um, 
I just made those copies for you. I've destroyed the sauce. Good. I'll fly back to school. Okay. The good work. Thank you, Rosa. You know, Kami, if you cannot even show up to rescue my daughter, we probably by now would have known who the real person MJ is working for. Hmm. You're right, sir. Uh, sir, sir, when are we going to confront uh, Jenna with what we know? We will leave him for now. Let him begin to think that we're mates in this business of politics. We will strike him with his son's involvement in kidnapping, crime, and courtism at the right time. <laughs> so, so, as it is now, how do you think... Um, Let go of my hand. Wait, 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 just wait. I, I, I know you're really pissed at me. Right? I, I know you're pissed. I know you have every right to be pissed. But just hear me out. Hear me out. You'll understand what I'm trying to say. Okay? You know, I have a right to choose whether to listen to you or not. You know which one I'm exercising now? To ignore you. Get out of my hand! Stay away from me! Are you trying to embarrass me? People are watching. Look, I don't care. All right, at this, at this, at this point, I don't care. I don't care who looks at me, who laughs at me. They can do anything they want to do. Listen to me, please. My life. My life is on the line here, right? Your life is on the line? Nice try. Know this, I have nothing to do with it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I thought I warned you against hurting her. Maybe you think I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead, babe. Stay out of it. I got this. You are sure? Yes. Now would you get out of my way? <laughs> what? What would you want? Marry me. Oh, God, you're so insane. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'm insane. I accept I am insane. But I love you. I really, really do love you. Look, everything she told you, all of it, all lies. All right? I really do love you. Look, look into my eyes. And you see the sincerity in my eyes. I really love you. I'm going to make you happy. Marry me, please. Please. I cross my heart, I will make you happy. Just marry me. Please get up. I can't pick you. I, don't I, I, I can't, can't get up. No, I can't get up. I don't care what they say. I don't care who sees me. I don't care who laughs at me. I really do love you. Let's go, Joe. I leave you. I'm ashamed of you. So this is the reason you've been avoiding me, huh? It's over. It's over. Let's go. Now that Sydney has those pictures, they're enough to make the prince propose to my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, let me find out why he's still wasting time.
Yeah. Tell him that the boy has just proposed to the girl. I witnessed it. Tell him the girl turned down the proposal. Of course, I, I witnessed the whole thing myself. All right, then. I reckon. Okay. Um, sir, he said the prince just proposed to your daughter and she turned him down. Ujowa. Ujowa. She can be stubborn at times. But that is the right step towards us achieving our set objectives. Maybe it's because he proposed right in the school in the midst of the crowd. Could be. Could be. But even at that, we still have a lot of things to tidy up. Um, um, sir, I have an idea on how we can use the prince to our own advantage, sir. Let me hear it. Mm. I like that. I like that, Kami. With that, the king will have no choice than to comply with us. Good thinking. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Two thousand years of history now. Who now be what away so easily? Live by two thousand years of history. What? Who now be what away so easily? Who now be what away so easily? Don't lose your soul and get some conscious. Oh, children. Everybody so train is coming in our way. Get on board now. They say Zion train is coming. So train. Everybody Zion. Give me a break, please. I beg you, give me a break. Look, in case you've not noticed, I am doing the best I can here. All right? Oh, yes. I just lost my girlfriend. I just lost my girlfriend because of this. And... Look, you, you said today. You said today. And if you're not dumb enough, you will know that today is not yet over. Oh. Oh God, what is the difference between today and tonight? Listen, I don't want to get into the night. She must accept your proposal before nightfall. I beg you, in the name of God, I am going crazy here. Get off my back! Get off my back! This, why can't you just let me be? What, what do you want from me? Oh, what do you want? Show your face. You, come on, show your Don't lose your soul and get money. Nine of us on dollars could not make a thing. You will not succeed me when money is again, no. We are taking it up from the beginning. The money is so great. Ujoma, you know you shouldn't have lied to me.
I was scared. I've been very, very scared. I've been living under the fear of what Mark's fellow cop members would do to us. He only tried to save me. He doesn't deserve to get hurt. I don't want to get hurt either. Have you told your father about it? I want it. I really want it. You know how he's always wanted me to travel abroad? So, when this happened, I told him that I already made up my mind to go abroad. And then my daddy surprised me and said no. He said I can stay here and complete my studies. I didn't know how to persuade him because I didn't want to let the cat out the back. So what is going on between you and Kenna now? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Are you really in love with him again? Melly, a girl walked up to me yesterday, it was it two days ago, claiming to be Ikena's girlfriend. And she told me that Ikena was, was just using me. She sounded so convincing. She even told me what transpired between Ikena and I. Oh, and that he told her while they were making love. And now you're madly in love with him. always wanted it back. So when this happened, it felt like fate bringing us back. And I gladly opened the door of my heart to him. Joel, listen carefully. A man I once met is in school right now asking questions about Mark's death. He claims to be a security operative, but I have my doubts about him. This same man invited me to a party once and I told you about it. Nelly, I am busting out here trying to live with what happened. I'm scared of what will happen to me and to someone whose only crime was to try to save me. Probably in a way would won't clear my conscience. And confessing what happened would not only bring calamity upon my head, but upon another person's head as well. I just don't know what to do. I was just telling you about someone. What is going on now? is obviously beyond what neither you nor Ikenna can handle. I think you should speak to your father. Tell him everything. He's your father.
you've been with this man for so long and recently we have not been getting any tangible intel from you it seems you now see yourself as part of his workforce i did not bring myself into this i never requested to be embedded into his security details and do you know the most tedious aspect of this all being a babysitter for almost four years <laughs> come on Paul. if you want to have a go at it i don't mind switching places you know how the system works sydney i didn't bring you in here either of course i am i know and i also know that the system did nothing when the senator, senator turned me into a babysitter of course i requested for a an assignment. I remember vividly. And what did the system do? They turned deaf ear. And now, they suddenly woken up. And they sent you in here to come and query me for not bringing in intels? Okay, Paul. I got intels for the system. Tell the system that the baby is fast growing. Tell the system that she attends lectures regularly. And right now, She's having a broken heart. Beautiful intel. Sydney, I know your heart is broken by the nature of your present assignment. But that is not the reason why I'm here. Oh. Make my day. Or rather, my night. Come on. I want a real assignment. A challenging assignment. All right. What do you have? Well, I don't know how challenging this might sound or be, but I want you to put an eye on another student of this school. Oh, oh, perfect. Bravo. Another babysitting job. Oh, come on. I should have known this course. I want you to put an eye on Prince Iken Nad in the court. Hmm? Yes. And the son of the royal majesty, the fine Chuku Enko. Is he in any kind of trouble? Well, his father thinks so. Well, if he feels so, I think they should go to the police. Is that duty? Not ours. Sydney, I am just doing an old friend a favor. I see. Okay, so what are the details? The girl that slapped the kid in school is Choma. Now, Choma is Mark G's ex girlfriend. This whole thing, I've been thinking about the incident too. There's more to it than meets the eye. What are you thinking? Listen, Choma is Ikenna's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Choma is Mark G's ex girlfriend. Ikenna accidentally killed Mark G. <laughs> This whole thing is more than a coincidence. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that both of them could have planned and killed my dad and now I'm the pawn in their game? Exactly what I'm saying. Oh, Jesus, this is not happening. This is not happening. Jesus, this is not happening. That is the reality on ground now. And the sooner you accept it, the earlier we begin to find solutions to all these problems.
I am sick. I am tired. I am heartbroken. Enjoy. Stop crying. I've told you what to do. Bring your father in. Tell him everything that's going on. Ujumwa. Hello, Paul. Yeah, sit there. We need to meet in the morning. It's very important. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Wow. God. Easy. Easy, Sydney. Easy. <sighs> Think of the fact that I almost called Ikina with my real voice. <sighs> it is true. A troubled mind often makes stupid mistakes. Okay. God. Switched off. Why switch? In this network. Switched off. How will he switch off this one? Sorry. Sorry about the way you're brought here. But we have no choice. Uh, please accept the apology. No, um, what can I do for you? I want you to help us. With due respect, I'm a student. Right? I, I don't think. You look at me, I don't think there's anything I can do for you. Mm. <clears throat> well, I have some papers in here that I want you to sign for me and we could do it here. But since I have a flight going to Abuja in the next one hour, it will be better you go with me. What if I say no? Then you walk away. Just like that. Just walk away. Oh, oh I find. I choose to walk away. I'm not interested in anything. I'm just a student. Let me just live my life. Okay. Um, one more thing, Ikeno. I never told you my name. Listen. I'll be leaving here in the next 60 seconds. And if you fail to go with me, those pictures you saw in your room, I'll give them to people that need them most.
Dad! Dad! You won't believe the headline on this paper and some other major national dailies. Yes, what is it? Ikenna is now a political juggernaut. He's now really with senators and top dignitaries. Senators? Yes, Dad. What is it? Senator Chigozi Abuncha, eulogized by Southeast Youth. Hey, you cannot. Vivian? Yes, Dad. Please, get me my phone. Get me my phone. It's on the stool beside you. Oh. Icarus, what's the man liver? What's the law? You don't hear it? Bongo man and give up. Icarus, what's the man they have for? Bongo man liver. Living for one and leave. That's another one I'm giving you, man. <coughs> Boy. Good evening, man. Good evening, man. Say, I'm looking for Icarus, I mean, Ikena. We've been knocking upon this door for a long time now, no answer. Calling for no Richard. Oh, the side of the man yet? Why you do the sign of the cross for? You are a Christian. Boss, I know if you talk. You know if you talk? What's the problem? But you just spoke. I said, I know if you talk. I they try to make my own business. You just spoke again, man. What's the problem? Boss, I know if you talk. I just demand my own business. He's not, is he? Listen, man. You have a good business, just a strictly good business with the man. That's why I mean, look for him. Very important message. See, the last two times I, I knocked on this door, I nearly have my head shot. Head shot. I swear. By the man. If not for God, by now, I would have been a dead man. So the advice I have for you as a friend and as a brother, if you love this, your sweet, wet plate hair. No, that's the man, too. You know, sir, it. That's the man. And you don't want this head to leave this neck. No, no. Stop making this. Yes. All right, man. Let me bother the man again. All right? One love. Yeah. That's the man, live up. No better time, man. Yeah, me. Easy enough. Okay, we got the man. Original rude boy. <laughs> Very fine, who? Why is this number not Is everything alright, Dad? Isn't it obvious that everything is not alright? What's the problem, Dad? Your brother. I've been trying to reach him on the phone. But his line is not connected. Dad, that event was held last night. It's likely he's still in Abuja. Don't people in Abuja make and receive telephone calls? Why is his own line not going through? What is actually the problem, Dad? I think you should try him on your telephone. And if you get through to him, I can speak to him and we'll find out what the problem is. Dad. I don't understand. Ah. 
Leave him. First time. Try reaching your brother on your phone, on my phone, on any phone. Okay, Dad. Call me the Prince of Stars. Sir, in your private lounge, call me the Prince of Stars. Sure, you don't want to see that because your flight uh, won't be ready and the one hour. I'll be first waiting here. Very well, then. Um, it's rather unfortunate that I'm a little under this kind of circumstance. I can assure you the next time we're going to meet is going to be on the door's nose. At the same time, I want you to understand that what you're doing. You're doing for our geopolitical zone. You're helping us um, win the presidency. And uh, our people back home really appreciate what you're doing. All right, sir. Can I go now? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the car will be waiting to take you to the airport, okay? Hi, But I know shall they kill our prophet While we stand aside and look Have no fear for atomic energy Cause no one can stop the time Nineteen What the fire I need to do Ah, you look cute. Yeah, I think you keep looking cute. What for day? I know. Cool. So far, I give you a still here. Yes. <laughs> Say, ah, uh, we do it. Oh no, he traveled. Traveled? Yeah. Where she go? I don't know. She just said she was traveling. Why? Serious thing. I don't know when she can come back. Uh -huh. Wow. That's the wrong thing. That is a thing that changed up. Well, don't worry. You keep looking beautiful. Gotta stay still. The most beautiful. Take care, sister. Get away. Right. Easy now. Look out, you don't. No, you do not. Please book me the next available flight. I have to get to Abuja right away. Dad, are you sure you don't want me to call mom? No, leave your mom out of this. Let her enjoy her vacation. She deserves it. What kind of trouble is Ikena in? Does the answer to your question book me a flight to Abuja? Again? Okay, I'll book you a flight. But are you sure you... Vivian! Yes, Dad! A flight to Abuja, please. Okay, Dad. What are you doing in my father's house? Have you read the papers today? Hey, front page. Do you know why I'm here? You endorse my father?
You know, there's a whole lot I don't know about you. And the more I try to grasp, and I there's also lot. a whole lot of things about you that I am trying to grasp. I'm trying so hard, right? I'm trying so hard to be calm about this. In case you've not noticed, look at me. I am stressed, right? I am so stressed. I have not had a good sleep in days. Okay, my, my, my life, my life is in shambles right now. I need to walk. Wait, no. What again? Listen, I may have my reservations about you, but you do not know my father. That man is capable of a lot. And I do know he has a hidden agenda for bringing you here. I want to know where it is. What is it? Has it got to do with you and I? Well, I should be the one asking you that question. How do you mean? How do I mean? Well, you're asking me. How do I mean? Well, let me ask you this. How do I even get involved in this in the first place? All because I was trying to save you. Whose father is on my neck right now? Your father. Who was I threatened to stay away from you? Who was I glad not to propose marriage to save you? Now who is standing in my freaking face lying to me? You! Jesus Christ, what are you saying? What I am saying is simple! are the one person I need to stay far away from. Even cursed. Empress Paradise. I love you. Empress Paradise. That's why we use every week. That time we go to the yeah, feet. Yeah, man. Just a minute. Rasta man, I got a thing to buy. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm fine, bro. Come on. Rest. Rasta man, still. <laughs> Yeah, you see, me some pictures, man. No, no, I don't think so. I'm giving you all your pictures. Come on. You give me a picture with the Jonah's face blood. I want to clear the world so that I can see everybody's face. No, I don't have one. I don't have one. Can I? Yeah. If I don't get those clear pictures, you know that our faces are blurred. Just like Jonah's face. And those pictures. If I don't get it clear on okay, I will unmask our face, faces, so that everybody can see through us. See, are you threatening me? It's a reality. I have given you all the pictures that I have. Okay, so you can make good with that. So don't ever treat him again. I respect the fact that you're the head of this game. You should know I have my own instructions. Oh, oh you do? Yes. Mm. Rasta man, you got yeah, place. Rest me, man. Rest me, man. Then first paradise. Last one, the end. Hello, sir. I'm going to help you. I asked you again, why the hell is my daughter? Sir, she never was supposed to run by your daughter. But it was. 
Now I also speak to you, as you must know, basically destroying everything that took me a little bit of time I learned to do that. Because of your incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to do your work. Understand that I brought in that young man here strictly for political reasons. Nature is everything for you boils down to politics. I have been through massive psychological trauma in the last few days, but for you, it all boils down to politics. Hey, my dear. I'm very sure that if you relax a bit and let us talk like father and daughter, you probably, probably. I probably might understand what you're talking about. Do my feelings mean anything to you at all? I guess not. I have always avoided getting into relationship because Daddy would want a scandal. And now, the only person, the one person that I have ever genuinely cared about, you couldn't stay away from him. I think you and I can sit down. You have been manipulating everything from the start. And now he's out there thinking that I am in the Lord, whatever it is you are into. Let's, let's just pray that nothing happens to him. Because if anything happens to him, Lord knows I will never forgive you. Go ahead, Brad. Did you come on. Did you come I've been trying to reach Ikena on the phone for a while now. All to no avail. Most times, the phone rings and no one picks. I checked on his neighbor and they said they've not seen him. I don't know what's going on. Well, that's what you and I are trying to find out. I already told you about his father's suspicion. Because of the death threat? Yes, from the senator. <sighs> Paul, I know something you don't. But since you're not doing this official, I'm going to have to ask you. Can I trust you? Did you just ask me that? Paul hit the nail on the head and asked my question. What is your answer? Of course, yes. You can trust me, baby sitter. Oh. Baby sitter, right? Why you're busy throwing after a rich boy? <laughs> I guess <coughs> the pot can finally call the kettle black, huh? So. Rust of mine and liver. <laughs> well, easy enough. We have a sight too. You hear that? Turn around the bit. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. <laughs> <laughs> no but ourselves can free a woman. Listen, man. Have no fear for that. <laughs> because Rust of mine and liver. When I don't shout with kill our prophets, why we stand the General, I, I tried the much I could for now. Besides, my, my presence in that school is beginning to be noticed. So I, I decided to step out for a while. But I recruited some boys that are asked to be my, my eyes and my ears. 
Do you want me to give you a pat on the back and say, well done? As long as my son's killers are out there breathing, Buchi, your life is on the line. I promise you that. I promise I will find you. Please. Just lower your gun. I also spoke to Martha, fat members. My son does not belong to any fraternity or God or whatever you call it. Why won't it ever make them in this house again? Do you hear me? Paul, you're going to start following everything officially from now on. We're going to follow up everything through the official channel. It's okay, it's all right. I'm okay. The dead boy is Mark J, the son of General Jack. The boy who fought him is Ikenna Inukora, a friend's son. The girl standing beside him is Senator Jukozie's daughter. What kind of a reunion is this? Did they kill him or what? Paul, this is not a reunion. It is a failed kidnap attempt. Magje tried to kidnap Ujunwa. The senator's daughter. Ikena came along to her rescue, and because of the melee, Matt died. But from the position of the fall, I think he slipped and hit his head on the, you know, on the concrete there, and that was it. But why will Mark want to kidnap her? Well, Mark's father and Ejunwa's father are political opponents. And they are about to face themselves in the, in the party primaries. Uh -huh. So I guess the general planned the kidnap in order to force the senator to step down for him. Well, and it happened. My Ikena is missing. Well, the inference is frightening. But why would somebody want to kidnap a student during school hours in broad daylight? Exactly the case. I guess uh, Madje did not know that uh, Ujunga had a bodyguard. Or rather bodyguards that follow her around. Neither did he know that Kena would come along. But now, that is the result. And Ikenna is missing. Where did you get the pictures? How? Tell me. Paul, oh, I'll show you. Before we get to where we're going next. Let's go. So where are we going? Drive. This is my campus. Yeah.
Good sir. Good day. I would like to see the senator. An appointment, sir. No, my son. Just let him know that Igwe Enukora is right in front of his gate. All right, come on. Come here. Just check the back. Yeah, Sydney. Yeah, Kenneth. We need to talk. Thank you. Um, okay, come, come and sit down. Wait, please. Kenneth. Yeah. yeah come here with us. Sydney, I'm really, really busy right now. I can't come with you. See that you come with us or my gun will take you somewhere. Let's go. Enter the car. Get into the car. Yeah. Come on. Your camera. Huh? Your camera. Can okay, I pass the camera? Come on. So, uh, you have to watch. Oh, Your Majesty, you're welcome. Your Majesty. Senator Chigazi Abuncha, I suppose you have seen this publication. Your and I want to know what game you are playing with my son. Your Majesty, sit down. Does it look as if I flew all the way here from the east just to sit down? Yeah, but of course I know you've traveled from afar. And uh, I presume you must be very tired. So why don't you relax for a while and then we can discuss whatever you've come here for us to discuss. Please. Please. Yes. Now with this publication, I'd like to know what you're doing, my son. And what he has to do with your campaign. For elections. Your Majesty, you know this is a election period. And I've been trying to build a formidable team of young men that will form the bedrock of my campaign drive. And in course of that, I visited the University of the Southeast where I had a town hall meeting with the students. And it was in course of my interaction with the students that I was introduced to your son. And you suddenly dreamt of using him as a puppet to score cheap political points. Your Majesty, score cheap points? On the contrary, I saw in your son a huge talent. And again, he, I, I, I took into consideration his background. Being a prince, I elevated him above other youths. That's exactly what I did. Senator Chigozi Agunja, 
I came here personally to reiterate my earlier warning to you to stay away from my family. Senator, I will not repeat this warning again. Your Majesty, take it easy. It doesn't come to this. General, sir, there is something of utmost importance you must say. Your Excellency, this is just to inform you that Igwe Enukora and Senator Aguncha have closed ranks in order to have a resounding victory for Senator Agunja. Sir, who sent this to you? As it's clearly stated, Kani sent the message. Kani is the Senator's personal assistant. I don't believe that message was meant for me. He couldn't have. He has my number. And that brings me to ask the question, how the hell did he get my number? Well, Kenneth, let me break it down for you a little bit. Well, it's good. You did a very good job. Should I say well done, Jeff? You know, being amongst those who are actually protecting and looking after the children. Particularly in the area of the pictures that you took of the supposed uh, kidnapping. Well, when I discovered, I requested for the pictures. Well, you sent me some, and I realized that the Juma's face was blood. In most of them, all of them. Am I right? Yes. Well, it also dawned on me that whatever the pictures came from, there must be clearer ones. So I requested that you should give them to me, and you bluntly refused to bring them to me. Am I making sense? Okay, sir. Well, the issue here now is a Kennedy. I want to know what are your reasons? Why? What's making you do that? Because I don't have to be or need to be a professional photographer to understand that those pictures were manipulated by you. See, I understand that you're the head of the team looking after the census dog. But I also want you to understand that each and every one of us in this team receive instruction from the boss himself. I have my instructions. So why do you choose to make things difficult for me? Oh, instructions. Yes, we all do. So what were your specific instructions uh, concerning the picture for I am not at liberty to tell this to anyone. It's not even you. Out! I said get down! Out from this car! What? Do you want his blood to stay in my car? Get down! Oh, yeah. Um, that's true. We don't want your blood to stay in the car, so you get out. Just wait. When I 
told the senator about the pictures. He told me that I shouldn't do anything to implicate his daughter. And eventually, he saw them. So he, he then instructed me never to allow the pictures get to any other hand. So I had to destroy them. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I can't help you. Are you aware that Senator Agoncha used the same picture that you manipulated to force Ikena to make positive political statements about his career? Are you aware? See, you want to know what's going on. I mean, you work for him too. So, so why are you doing this? You don't know. He worked for state security services. You are going with us for further questions. That's not true. Sydney. Kenneth. Yeah. Yeah. The truth. We both work for him. Let's move. Come on. No, that, that, that's not true. Yeah, you know, you know. I will find out if His Majesty is in Abuja. Your Majesty, I can assure you that your son is treated with utmost respect. And as we speak right now, his back is cool. Uh, hello? Hello? Nice of you to call. How is the family? No, there's no need going to my house because I'm in Abuja right now for something very important to me. If I can't get a flight back tonight, I'll be there first thing in the morning, tomorrow. Yes, that would be nice. Thank you. We'll see you then. Okay. He is certainly in Abuja. Igwe Enukora is now aligning himself with Senator Aguncha. Considering what I read in the papers a while ago, I am not surprised, sir. <sighs> Pardon me, I, I have not been able to read today's dailies. What did you read in the papers? The Igwe son visited the senator's house in Abuja with some of his supporters. And uh, he shamelessly, he made such glowing remark about the senator that you will wonder if he was talking about God. There is nothing to worry about. I will certainly take care of everything. Where is Buchi? He got a message from the university and he dashed out to deal with it. Oh. Alright. Um, tell him to see me as soon as he gets back. Yes, General, sir. Your Majesty, I heard everything you said, and I make you a very firm promise. I'll keep away from your family. But as a farewell gift, please, I want you to accept this for me. So, darling, Jack, do I look like somebody who needs something from you? I will overlook this insult this time, but I don't want you next time you bring this sort of insult to me. Marshal all the arsenal within my powers and come after you. 
I will advise. Take it to your majesty. It will aid your fight against me. What is this? The dead guy on the ground is late General Jack's son. And your guess is as good as mine what your son could have been doing there. If you think he just walked in on the cops, you're making a mistake. Then check out all the photographs in that envelope. How did you get this? Your Majesty doesn't matter. Keep it. Okay? I have plenty of orders. I can now see the reason why my son made those statements in the papers about you. Blackmail. They're going to say even more about me, Your Majesty. I've kept close watch on two of them for a long time now, but I've been unable to get a useful information apart from the occasional girls face down with each other. What do they say to each other? Girls things now, I mean girls lines like you are a whore, you are a boyfriend snatcher, this and that, you know. Had you been specific about what you wanted earlier, I would have known what to look for. It's alright. You've done well so far. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you so much. Thanks. Um, um, please, if you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. No, no problem. Thank you. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right. Thank you. I need to bring these girls together. And if I don't get what I want from them, I'll simply waste them and give myself a break. <laughs> Five missed calls. Those, those fools couldn't even tell me. God will punish you, people. God will punish you for seizing my phone.
Well, the money is not The Majesty, your phone has been ringing. Will you keep quiet and take me straight to the palace, please? Um, driver, please listen. I'm in a hurry. I have a flight to catch in the next 30 minutes. So if you know any other road that you can take and we'll, we'll avoid that traffic that will usually build up around that area, please avoid it. Thank you. Dad, are you still thinking? Ah, my darling. Well, sometimes a man has to think. Yes. A man is one to think about his life, his past, his present, and his future. Think, yes. But not to the detriment of his health. Oh, come on, my dear. There's nothing to worry about, my dear. This old man is still as strong as a war horse. So don't worry about my health. There's nothing wrong with me. Yes? Your food is ready. Thank you, my dear. I'll be there in a jiffy.
Why doesn't he answer my calls? Ikena, please. Ikena, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I'm here to make things right. At least the much I could. I wouldn't claim that, that I know everything you went through in Abuja. No. But trust me, I've had my own sour taste of the whole situation. I have. Ikena, you need to stay away from my dad. He's dangerous. He's not only a politician, but he's very dangerous. Ikena. Are you aware that the girl that slapped you in school was dating you and Magje at the same time up until the time of his death? Are you? Now open this door! Open it and tell me what the hell is going on! Ah, even dear. Who have you been trying to get on the phone that you didn't notice I've been here for the past three minutes? I've been trying to reach your brother Ikenna to no avail. Perhaps you should try reaching him also on your phone. I will, Dad. But you have to take your after meal rest. It's very important for a man of your age. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. I will. Yes, I will. Thank you. Good night, Dad. Good night. Shut 
There's something I don't understand about you girls. You girls are always on each other's neck. Yet, you're so comfortable coming to her house for this meeting. You know one thing? It's either you are so overconfident in your strength or that you're fucking damn right stupid! You surely pay for this. Hey, both of you. Start telling me what you know about my chest dead. You need to talk or you die. Now, start talking. Um, you don't have any to worry about your majesty. Yeah. Yeah. We are really taking our time so as to not to raise dust concerning the investigation. I assure you, I assure you, sir, nothing bad is going to happen to your son. Yes. Uh, definitely by morning I'll have something mm -hmm. for you. Thank you, Your Majesty. That's it. Yeah, hello! There you be. We are the one, we are the one saying me. Yes, right. Yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. You know, me call upon the reason to say, you know, could I discuss a few things about the things that you go through now on school site? You know, I will put that stress thing that you're going through right about now. <laughs> Baby, come on, cutie. Me know a lot. Rasta man know I will put thing. Me know something, you know, if you believe say me know. Believe me. Believe. So we could have meet upon the front uh, uh, auditorium front thing. Yeah, but if you don't like the place, you could have give me a call right about 30 minutes and then we could go to jam any place you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that are good. You say me know a lot, you don't believe it. By the time you are done with the thing that I had know, you go and dip upon the surprising time. Rasta man know what he put in, baby. Galang, cutie, galang. We're loving us still. We're just loving us still, baby. Mm. All right, cross the fire right. <laughs> easy now, easy, easy now, easy. Boom, boom, clap, ten. That was the senator's daughter. We have an appointment with her. You know, definitely she knows where Ikena will be, so she will take us there. So, let's go. Where are we going to? Follow me. This is my field. I know everywhere. <laughs> Let me take it through or else the man knows much. What? Sometimes. You talk. I was just trying to say. As far as Magdi's death is concerned, she knows better. I did it! It's only that you know it! Please don't listen to her. Are you girls aware that none of you is living this room alive? If I don't get the information I want. No. General Jeremiah Joseph Jack, the people Jack, your majesty, you must have taken great pains to come to see me this night, your majesty. On the line of duty, no time is set aside for leisure. It's all about getting results. 
I the family. Very well, thank you. Please. What do I get you? Your Majesty, you don't have to go like this. I have actually come for us to review certain things that are happening. And to find out if they are for a mutual gain. If I'm not wrong, General, it's about the publication of my son made in the papers. Yes. And the senator's visit to the palace. You might just call me. You and I know that you are one of the secret strong pillars of my campaign organization. But your son's eulogy on Senator Abuncha has forced me to personally come and ask if he is representing you or he's on his own. My dear General Jack, youthful exuberance is a disease that has been alien to my son until recently. And if I tell you that I'm not worried about it, I would be a liar. Your Majesty, what then could be the cause? You were here the day you came back from school. He left before I had a chance to speak with him. I got one or two months that I sent some people to track him down and bring him back to me. Your Majesty, I, I, I was really, really, really bothered that he was representing your interest. As for that, Senator Abuja, I have warned him times without number to keep away from my family. Indeed, after this publication, I took a trip to Abuja to see him face to face and warn him for the last time to stay away from my family. Then Your Majesty, I, I don't have any reason to be bothered. Absolutely. No reason what, whatever to be bothered. Yes. <laughs> General, <laughs> Jeremiah, Joseph, Jack, J, 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 Your General. Your Majesty. Now, can I have something to Of course. All oh, right. What do you do? What do you do? I mean, there's something for the General and for me also. J, 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 the people's general. <laughs> I can see that you girls have nothing to offer me. Thank you very much for wasting my time. But I'm sorry. I have to waste your lives. Who is it? Come with me, Ivan. Came to collect that textbook I told you. Please, I'll bring it later. No, no. You got your own assignment. You don't, don't want me to do mine. Please, I need it now. So that I'm ready. I'm going to ready. Open the door for her. Don't be a hero. Drop it. Drop it on the floor before I waste you. Make this of your leg. Fat one, stand up. Good boy. Make it. Good up. No, no, no. Thank you. 
Sydney, what is it you wanted from the bell? Oh, to ask the bell. What's up? Well, <clears throat> let me start by introducing myself. My name is Sydney Peters. And this is Paul Mokolo, who both work for the State Security Service. Paul, this is Ujumwa Agoncha. And of course, you can lie in the car. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Isn't this getting better by the day? Rasta man. Wait, hang on. You're kidding me, right? Huh? You see, what happened to all the Rasta man, you know, Ja and all that? <laughs> Jesus, I don't believe it. You know, if you guys work for the SSS, then I'm the king and she is the queen of England. How about that? We're actually looking for you, Kenna, but it hasn't been easy getting you on phone. You said you wanted to have a meeting with her. Now you say you've been trying to get to me. So what are you going to say next? Yes. We called Ujumwa because we knew that she was going to lead us to you. Oh, yeah? And how did you know? Because both of you know exactly what happened on the 10th of this month. You know, if I, if I knew that this is one of your attention-seeking meetings, I wouldn't have wasted my time coming here. Sydney, if you wanted a girl for the night for your friend here, you should have taken him to the streets instead of insulting yourself by bringing him to me. This is all a mistake. I'm sorry. Let's listen to you. On the 10th of this month, both of you conspired and killed Matt Jack, a fellow student. Do I have your attention now? Try something else. You also made a newspaper publication praising Ujumwa's father. I guess he got you to do that because he had the picture of Ujumwa, you, and the dead boy on the day that he died. I don't know what you're missing at, but talking about my father in that manner is something I will not have from you. I don't even try. Are you rather saying that I'm indirectly saying that your father blackmailed Ikenna? Or are you scared that I will also know you for the mother of Mad Jack? Here. Are you? Of course, if you look at the picture, the Juma face is blood. But I'm sure both of you have seen this, right? Am I making sense? Your father wishes to speak to you. And who is my father? You go find you go in the car. Hello? Ah, uh, Ikenna. Where have you been? I really don't understand what's going on. But I need to see you home as soon as possible. You must come home. We need to talk. Yes, I know him. His name is Paul. Oh, you can trust him. He can... You must endeavor to come home urgently. All right? All right.
لماذا السلف حرج يلبسون سيف I'm not as stupid as you think, huh? The problem is that you underestimated me. Oh, it will be making things easier for you and your friends if you simply hand me over the guns and help me out with the information you have. <laughs> you want me to believe that stupid story of you being an undercover policeman? Huh? But you don't have a choice. I do have a choice. I need to get you off my back. Let me see how much of a pain you can take. Snatch! Start flogging them. And if they shift any muscle, do not hesitate to torture them to death. <laughs> Please don't do anything to me. I don't need to call you. They're going on me. <laughs> we'll see to that. Now you. I want you to tell me who sent you to me. And the reason why you want to know who killed my Jay. I don't care how much of a tough guy you are, but I'm going to see how much pain you can take. Snatch! Start torturing them. My father said I can trust you. So I would like to give you the benefit of the doubt. He's been trying to reach me. I've also tried to reach him. So, I would like to go see him. Okay, now you need to go and see your father. But we need to sit down and talk about what you've been up to. Okay, now. We've been in school all these years. And I know that it's difficult for you to relate to the fact that I'm a security agent. But considering all that is happening to you right now, Helping us with the truth will go a long way in sorting out the whole thing. It might even set you free. All right. About Matt Jay, I did not kill him. I, I, at least not intentionally. It was an accident. He wanted to kidnap her. And then I, I came in, we started fighting. I don't know what happened. He, he slipped and he hit his head. He hit his head on a slab. I did not kill him. I know. Um, how did you get this? No. We all need to sit down and talk. We need to talk. How are we? Any news about the Brigitte's? Whereabouts? Um, yes, sir. I got her on the phone once. She told me just don't bother with her. She said that once she's done with work, she'll go into come back home. What about the boys? Um, what? These guys, I couldn't be paying them for nothing. Call them up. Ask them to get, get on that immediately. I've hmm? already done that, sir. You yeah. have? Yes, sir. Has uh, Igwe Enukora, has he made any press briefing? Uh, no, sir. But what if he refuses to make any press briefings? Uh, he has no choice. Sit down. Uh, like I said, he has no choice. Okay? I will get him to do it. But you know something? It is easier for any reputable and highly places, somebody to speak to death than character assassination. I agree with you, sir. But, sir, remember, the party primaries are drawing nearer, and we need such statement from someone like the king to consolidate our grounds. It's, it's, it's very important to us. That will be a problem, my dear. That will be a problem. Okay? I will uh, I will call him. But right now, I want us to concentrate and work on the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunities of the strength. The opponents, our opponents, and delegates may present. That's what I want us to work on. 
You know, I don't really know how many people the senator has caught and his daughter. But I hope I'll be able to make the match when I see them. <laughs> how are you going to do that? I don't know. But one thing for sure is that we need to find out, you know, about all the instructions that the senator might have given. Just pick your phone and give me a call. Paul, are you out of your mind? My number that they have will remain switched off until. Although, I know by now he'll be calling me desperately. But, however, in the bit you know, of trying to reach me, I'm sure he's going to make a mistake or not. I don't you think so. Yeah, yeah. So what are you going to do? What are you looking at? See me. What are you looking at? Oh. Look at those three. Yeah. The scared one. That's the fat one. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is Juma's best friend. And uh who is the guy? I don't know, but I think something is going down here. Paul, I think we need to check them out. Let us check this out. I'm sure something is wrong. These guys say they are helping. And then they took my phone. Now how can you help me when you have my phone? What do you what do you expect me to do? Right? I, I'm here, I'm like stinking, I need I need, to, I need a change of clothes. Oh, please. please. Oh, wait. Did you just say something now? I said, oh, wait. Why me? Instead of whining, you might want to sit your butt down, concentrate, and figure out a way to help yourself out of the problem that you're in. Help myself out of the problem I'm in? Oh, really? So now it's my problem, not ours. Oh, I get it. Oh, how, how blind I have been. Now it's clear to me. All the evidence, everything points at me. But you? Nothing. They got nothing in you. Oh, how clever. Brilliant. I bet you and Sydney are just stringing me up for the kill, huh? Oh, how blind I have been. You have a huge opinion problem. And honey, that's all the blindness you need. You think I'm blind? Tell you what? Huh? Answer me. You want me to tell you how all this is going down? How you all plan to make me a scapegoat? Tell you what? Tell me that you can still see with those eyes! You think everybody's as blind as you are? Or you think that I'm so blind that I do not see you for the inconsiderate lying son of a bitch that you are? Now don't you ever call me names! You brought this upon me. Ha <laughs> ha! And do I ever need your help? 
What did you think? Or you thought that you would swoop in at the night in shining armor, save me, and what I will fall head over heels in love with you? Huh? Well, news flashed up. I've always had it in my guts that you are loving the bad news, and I am done with this shit. Right now, I'm right there. It's a pit of opera, it's a kill you, or whatever. <laughs> to know what you told him about me. I didn't say anything to him now. I only told him you dated my Shut up! Stop lying. Nothing more. I only told him you dated my You know what? I hate it when girls like you make other people's businesses their concern. You just went about blabbing, blabbing on the whole campus, right? I say, please, you don't have to do this. Believe me. I'm sorry. Snatch, teach her a lesson. You are fired. I just want to say it. Hello, his royal majesty. Please cut out the niceties and tell me what you want. Relax, relax. We're not courted, okay? We're not, your majesty. Or his majesty, well. Uh, uh, anyhow, I call to remind you of uh, how much time you have uh, before I can do what I have to do. You see, everybody is waiting for your world press briefing. You know, but you seem to be a little bit, I don't... Uh... I do not know what goes on in that little head of yours. You think you are God and everybody will bow and tremble before you? <laughs> Iwe, I don't know why it is that every time you hear my voice or see me physically, you begin to fret and panic. I'm a human being and we're friends. You see, I don't know how I can reconcile, you know, what you're saying, all these years you've been saying to me on the phone, with the little, little request I made. You know, it is a little request. I rather been considerate. You're busy making insinuations and saying things that are capable of making life difficult. Senator Chigozie. Go to blazes and burn to ashes. I was once a coward, and you took advantage of it and left me a bitter taste that has refused to live for many years now. No, I can't make that mistake again. As far as I'm concerned, you can go to you know where. Yes. Well, um, I have never underestimated anybody. And I won't do that now. That is why I am treating all my political opponents as equal. Yes, so I don't take chances with anybody or any opportunity. Exactly. Exactly. You and I know that whoever emerges as our party's flag bearer or automatically becomes the president of this country. Yes. Yes. 
Well, that is why I am taking the party's politics to its limit. Yes. Okay. All right, so we'll see in the evening to straighten things out. All right, okay. Good day, sir. And it's for you. Someone just brought it. It has been scanned. It contains no bomb or anything likely to be harmful, sir. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything. Just calm down. Hello? Dad, Dad I, I, I need to talk to you about something. It's, it's very important. Okay, you want me to come home immediately? Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right, fine. I'm, I'm coming right away. Okay, okay, okay. Can you, like, tell me what is happening? You're not talking to me! What is this? Now I want you to look at this. Tell me what is it. Is this possible? I should be the one asking this question, not the other way around. Now I know why your son was acting funny when we met him. Now I know why you are realigning yourself with Senator Abucha. Endowed him in the name of a non existent youth organization. Now I know. Now I know. Something is not right here. I pray you to calm down and we will sort out all these things. There is no the only thing is for you to ask your son to come down here and explain to him himself. I have tried many times to reach him, but all my efforts have been unsuccessful. Lying about what is happening gets me mad. Now, 
what I want you to do is to call your son so that he can come here and explain what is happening. Has it come to the point that I am now a liar? Igwe. I am not joking. Do you hear me? I am here with a loaded pistol. You understand? Adesi, are you the one that did this to them? He didn't want to talk. Are you with him? My name is Paul Mokolo. And this is Sidney Peters, State Security Services. We learned you'll be asking questions about Mark J. You want to tell us about your connection with him? I don't know him. I was only investigating his death. He's lying! All I think I know. Yeah, number 24 Creek Street. Please move in as well. Um, it will definitely lead to a breakup in their relationship. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I want you to call those boys, those idiots in the university. Tell them to stop wasting my time and live up to the money I'm paying them. It's my daughter. I expect them that their peanut brains should tell them that she will be my parents. She will live for both of them. So I I actually passing by. So I said to check it out. Oh okay. What's your name again? My name is Simon. Okay. When she comes back, I'll let her. Thank you very much. See you. Everything. 
I'm the one that's not what's going on anymore. To say I left my house because of the attack I told you about. Mm -hmm. And now how many people sneaking around the Juma's place looking for her? I don't understand anymore. Please. Forget that crazy and Daisy. And then um, where is Juma by the I can't even reach her. I've tried to call her phone all to no avail. Do you know what? Maybe I should just travel. Then come back when everything would have settled down. There is something I don't understand about you, girls. Not you know. Or am I being so present, you see? Or is there something you need to know? Abed, please, please, I beg you in God's name. If there's something I think you should know, I won't hesitate to tell you. Don't come and compound my problems, please. I am done with this. I want to go home. What happened? You know, I didn't have to be here. But I chose to be here in order to help save Ikena's ass. But what did I get? You almost murdered me there if it wasn't for the timely intervention of the man outside. And where has he gone to? I don't know. I don't know. He just ran out of the place. And I guess one of your men went chasing after him. We have to go now. We just sent me three text messages asking me to come immediately. You need to see him. And what about her? Yeah, we can let her go. I'll detail uh, Mamu to keep an eye on her. Uh, hello? I am still here. And I said I want to go home. What about Bushi and Adese? No, we can't let them go. Uh, but I don't want to take, get to the office before going to see the away. Hmm? We'll take them along. Uh huh? Oh, she's free to go. Well, what do you want? You're free to go. What do you want? Easy. Easy, Juma. Come on. At least you know me. You're not under arrest or anything. You're just trying to protect you. Come on, please. Easy, huh? Eh? Oh. Are you sure she's going to be safe? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell Mumu to just keep an eye on her. Okay, fine. Let's, let's move it up. Yes. I wouldn't be able to it. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 this was an accident. Wait. Ah. Yes. You killed my son and call it an accident? No. He can. Father, did you kill the general's son? Father. Father, it was an accident. It was an accident. I, I, I can explain. I, I can explain. Oh, yes. Yes. If you don't tell me who paid you and your father to kill my son, Another accident will happen here, and I'm sure you will not survive it. I will do it. you disappoint me. How could you? How could you conceive with the long friendship we have had over too many years? 
How could you conceive that I, a traditional ruler of repute, and a killer? General, you disappoint me. Oh, shut up. Shut up! Who paid you? I beg you, let me explain. All right, let me explain. Your son, your son wanted to kidnap the senator. I went to his daughter. All right, I, I, I saw it happening, and then I came in to rescue, to rescue her. We were not fighting. He, he slipped. He slipped and he hit his head on on the rock. That, that was how it happened. I didn't... Wonderful story. Wonderful story. Liar. Call my son a kidnapper one more time. And I will make sure you're dead before you finish saying it. How can the person in that picture be the senator's daughter? Are you insane? Now, for the last time, who paid you and your father to kill my son? You don't want to tell him about the thing. Yeah. I'll think of something. First of all, I'm out. Please. Yeah. Sit on the floor. General, I am Paul Wokolo. I work with the state security services. I want the both of you to bring down your guns. Paul. Oh. Do you have a son? Yes, I have a son. He's been shot dead in your house. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Reaching for your gun? I don't have a gun. I was only reaching for my phone. Don't thought to Paul. I saw your reaction. Relax. Your son is not dead. Yes. He's safe. Yeah, we already left the place. We are in the Grace house. And I think we'll be needing a backup. You need to make it fast. Not less than 10 minutes. Paul, no father wants to witness the death of his son. Hmm? 
except for these two who connived with someone whose name they don't want to mention to murder my son. Ekema, why did you leave the safe house? The person, or the people who planned this, they're still out there threatening my life. Right? The girl, the girl I was trying to save, and then I got into trouble. She was there in the safe house, running her mouth and mouth. About, about how finished I am. Okay? Just because her face didn't show in the picture, so. I don't know who to trust anymore. I don't. General. I have someone who can explain what happened to your son to you. I'll just call it. Oh. You want to call your backup, huh? He's close by. You just to tell him to bring in the suspect. If I say anything more than that, you have to call. And I intend to use it. Hello. Yes, please. Uh, secure the suspects and bring them in. Tell him to drop his gun, please. What is going on here? What the hell is going on here? General, I suppose you know that young man called Gucci and he works for you. And what about him? Before he would say anything, I would warn one of these ladies, Choma, to tell us what she knows about Gucci. I. I was having a problem with my boyfriend, Mark J. And on three occasions, I met him with Bucci. I would always wait a short distance away. But I guess he never took notice of me. And on the third day, I met them together. You want to try? Yeah. This one? Yes. Okay, come this way. Come this way. Right. Oh, yeah. This is okay. the right one. Yeah, hello. Yeah, bro. Okay, I'll, I'll, meet, I'll meet you up. I'll meet you up. I'll meet you up. Okay. okay. I'll meet you up. Yeah. Oh, 
Sweetheart, I'm so sorry we can't continue with this game anymore. Why? You asked him to come here today so you could teach me how to play this. I know. The gentleman I went out there to see came in with business. Okay? I mean, I need to work out things and know how to take care of things tomorrow. Mark, what did I do to you? Choma, you did nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. Okay? I mean, there's a situation at hand and you didn't like it, I call it quits. Oh, goodness. How am I supposed to allow to such to be situation? Choma, the fact still remains that I'm not the free spirit. Okay? And there's nothing you or anybody can do about it. Now you listen to me. Whenever you're ready to share me with any other girl, come back. I will continue from where we stopped. Okay? But for this game, I'm done. Ma, you're walking out on me. Apparently, Buchi contracted Mark to kidnap Ujumwa, the senator's daughter. Buchi, what do you have to say about that? That's correct. Now tell us, Buchi, who sent you to kidnap the senator's daughter? Buchi. Buchi! So you used my son for a kidnap scheme? You and Frank! Frank, drop that gun! Drop it! Easy. Drop it, good please. Easy, easy, Frank. Easy. Jara, Jara, please. Drop your gun, please. General, please drop the gun. The house has been surrounded by my men. I do not blame you. I blame myself for overpowering you. Because nobody would ever begin to imagine that with my status and at my level, I cannot account for my daughter's whereabouts. Gary, you have refused to see that this has nothing to do with pampering or overpampering me. It has everything to do with all the lies that you've told me. You always lie to me. Call your father a liar. We agreed that you would leave me alone to live my life like a normal student. But what did you do? What is with the retinue of security men following me up and down in campus? I did what I did because it was absolutely necessary. The moment I declared my interest to run for the presidency. But when you objected, I had no choice than to pull them out. You know what, Daddy? You don't have to lie about it anymore. Sydney told me everything. Sydney? Yes, Sydney. Anyhow, I am longer prepared to listen to your theatrics. You are done schooling you. Yeah! What? Back your things. Every bit of your things, because you're leaving for the UK with the next unfailable flight. No, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, hey, I'm sure you heard me loud and clear. Because if you ever think of leaving those gates, well, you better begin to have a rethink. Am I clear on that? Am I clear on that? Oh. 
Oh yeah. This is still up to us. Oh. Okay. Yes. I just think it's it. It was with great joy that I received the news of the standard that engulfed your most viable opponent. And with that, I don't think he will still continue in the race. <laughs> uh, well, you see, uh, the, the, the Lord is good. Yeah. And he will send the Bible. And, you know, the Lord, God will serve, has his ways of making things easy for his children. <laughs> I am a testimony. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, a, the case against uh, Igwe Enukola's son, that would not give him any room to build up any strong opposition against you. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, he is a traditional ruler, so he cannot be against you. That will be the final nail to his coffin. <laughs> We have a flag. Nobody can stop us. <laughs> I heard that your daughter's name was somehow mentioned in the kidnap saga. So, what are you going to do? Mm, yes, 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 yes. Well, I've concluded a arrangements to uh, address a war press conference. I'm yes. refuting that rumor that my daughter had something or anything to do with it. And that reminds me, I'm coming. You have to get in touch with similar kind of thousand as possible. Okay? Um, we've been trying to reach them, but to no avail, we will still keep trying to. Very well then. In that press briefing, mm -hmm. I am going to rub it in. Rub it in. Mm -hmm. That the general's son was indeed the kidnapper. <laughs> that will finish him completely. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to us, we know how to play the game. <laughs> we know how to play the game. Yes! <laughs> 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 I've been using you, sir. I will tell you to put it close without hiding anything. Let us see how truthful you can be. The general asked us to kidnap the senator's daughter, and when we got there, we discovered she had a lot of security men around her. So Regina told me that he knew some court boys that he could bring in to help get the girl in. And so? He, he went to Mark and... We never knew Mark was the general's son, not until after his death. And when we, when we discovered there was no way we could have gone back to the general to tell him what happened. Do you know what awaits you if you're convicted as a kidnapper? Do you? It is worse than life imprisonment. But if you cooperate with us, we'll help you out somehow. Officer, I'm cooperating. I'm telling you the truth. Are you sure? All I've said is nothing but the truth. I want to know what my fate is likely to be in this case. Forget I'm the son of a king. I can handle it. <sighs> Again, I was tearing at a mother case. And there's no need to pretend to you. It attracts capital punishment. <gasps> oh. So I am going to die just because I tried to help someone. Again, let's not sound sympathetic. Let's not even think it's sympathetic. 
No one is going to die. You're not going to die. But they don't voice down on you. However, you help us to handle this case, prove it, the better we have good lawyers that can turn this case around. Alright. Turn the case around. What do you mean by that? Well, instead of hanging, well, unlike you, talking about dying, we should be looking at our mass slaughter. Okay. Where does that put me? Well, let's say life imprisonment. Fantastic. Well, if your lawyers are able to prove that what happened between you and Mark J wasn't a fight per se, but his death was as a result of an accident that happened while we were trying to give a helping hand to a kidnap victim, they also have to prove that Mark J actually wanted to kidnap Ujumu. And if they're able to prove that, which I don't see the likelihood. Um, Session 24 of the Criminal Code, we are generating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Because, but, um, again, Ujumu has to not only expatriate she has to appear in the court and make everybody believe it. The jury must believe her story. And with that, you're free. Just what? ask your time. It's just like imprisonment. But if it's proven, you're free. Good day, sir. Yes, good day. Have you been able to locate or get in contact with Sydney or Kenneth? No, sir. It's as if they disappeared into thin air, sir. And none of the boys have uh, set their eyes on them? No. They've not been sighted anywhere in or around the campus. Good. Now, this is a moment. A perfect window for us to refute all the allegations about my daughter's involvement in the kidnap saga and then score a good political point. So I want you to get the boys and then you know, know what to do. I was coming to inform you that the press people are already on their way here, sir. Oh, really? Yes, sir. That's good. Very well, very well then. The group gets everything prepared. Dad, please come and eat your food. Believe me, it's your favorite and to instantly whet your appetite. My dear doctor, I'm not talking about appetite. I don't even have the strength. They have taken away everything from me. How can my son Ikenna suffer because he went to the rescue of somebody in distress? What Ikenna needs now, Dad, it's our unflinching support. And if your health fails you because you deprived yourself of food, how are we going to give him that support? Don't cry. Don't cry. Everything will be fine. How am I supposed to believe you? My son, I have not lost hope 
that you will not reap what you didn't sow. Papa, I only sowed kindness. Look at me. I only sowed kindness. I went in to help. That was all. See where it has landed me. I now face life in prison, but don't even, even tell my hanky. Tell me, Papa, is it worth it? Lending a helping hand, is it, is it, is it worth it? Son, you didn't do it to get paid. You did it because you are naturally a kind person. And you did whatever I think it man should have done under the circumstances. Be your brother's keeper. Father, I'll keep praying for you. And by the grace of God, nothing will happen to you. <sighs> Amen. Amen. They are charging us to court immediately. And I heard the senator denied his daughter's involvement in the kidnap. Yes, the bastard. What about mother? Is she aware of this? Yes, we told her. She's on her way back now. Vivian? Yes. Here's a Juma's number. Please. I need you to call her. Call her personally and tell her to pray for me. She should pray for me while I face life imprisonment or even death by hanging. Hello? Hello? My name is Vivian Inokora. My brother said I should tell you to pray for him as he faces death by hanging or life imprisonment. Who was that? What is Ikena's fate? Who is Ikena? The boy that got into trouble because he can rescue me. Hey, hey, Ujua, now you listen up. The most important thing we're talking about here is that you've been absorbed from the web of mother that has ensnared his voice. And the earlier you begin to look forward to a brighter life ahead of you, better for you because that's what you truly deserve. A better life? Then what is better in living a life of perpetual burden, of guilt, knowing that someone that saved me in time of need is about to die for nothing? What better life is that? Okay. 
sooner than later, you probably will get to realize that I've sacrificed so much, a whole lot, to give you what I'm offering now. And you will forever be grateful that I made that decision as your father. Daddy, you promised. You promised me you would take care of it. Yes, I did, sweetheart. Yes, I did. But there's nothing much I can do for now. Okay, and I expect you to understand it. What I understand is that you don't want to help him, but I still can help him. You just can't. Can you get it? Can you get it that even if you try to help him, alright? The only way you can possibly help him if you want to is by proving that you are the person in the picture, which as far as I'm concerned is not just possible. Again, I've already granted a press interview. Absolve you from that. Except otherwise, you want to tell all and sundry that your father is a liar, do you? That's, that's not fair. This, this is not fair! I know, I do. I know. Life itself is not fair. Press up to it. You know, like I told you, he he is gonna be so surprised. Yes, Sydney? Yes, sir. Where have you been? Sir, I've been doing my job, sir. Good job? Yes, sir. The very one I assigned you to do? Exactly, sir. And who is this young man? Sir, uh, sir, his name is uh, Paul Mokolo, my colleague. And we both uh, work for the State Security Services, sir. And we are here to question your daughter in connection with a failed kidnap attempt which led to the death of one Mark J. Excuse me. I don't understand what you boys are talking about. Huh? Well, <clears throat> sir. Sydney? Sir? Did I hear you say you work with the SSS? That's correct, sir. And that you're here to question the girl I left in your care. Exactly, sir. You must be raving mad. I left my daughter in your care. Distinguished Senator, sir, it would do us a great good if you call your daughter out here to answer our questions. Well, gentlemen, I'm afraid my daughter is indisposed to see you. I will see them, Father. About your question, which I overheard. I am the one Mac Jack wanted to kidnap. He actually showed me a gun and... The That's a lie, gentlemen. That's a lie. You know what? It cannot be you. You just got that! Shh, shush. You gentlemen, please. Do not take any words of ours seriously. Okay, she is disillusioned. What? Huh? Uh, lately she's been having problems with her boyfriend, so please disregard whatever thing she's been saying. But, yeah, okay. back to you. Um, well, sir, <clears throat> it might also interest you, sir, that uh, Kenneth has been in our custody for a while now, sir. Even if I speak with you, sir, Kenneth is in our custody. You must be out of your mind. Sydney, you must be out of your mind. We're talking about your incompetence and you're here talking about something I do not know. Sir, we actually had a shot with Kenneth and he told us that Kenneth, I can see hatred in your eyes. And I know that if given a chance, you will shoot me right in the head without even thinking twice. But all this is inconsequential to what's happening here. 
Sydney, I don't have anything to tell you. Kenneth, of course you have plenty of things to tell. You see, what happened we were back in school between us was instead of getting a life. And now a man's life is a stake and you have the powers to save it. Sydney, I'm not God. What do you want me to do now? Hear that. A young man like you and I is about to be killed for a crime that he did not commit. He even helped us in our duties. For God's sake, Kenneth, you know what would have happened if he did not appear at that right time to abort that kidnap? You know. Sydney, I don't owe him anything. Look, Kenneth. I know you stand at the chance. But you see, giving me those original copies would even be an added advantage to you. Kenneth, for God's sake, let us not allow the games that the politicians play to overshadow our sense of responsibility for each other. See who is talking about games. No, just see who's talking about games. What games are you playing right now? I mean, you suddenly changed from Senator Stokes to an SSS officer, and here you're telling me about games. So who is playing the games now? Kenneth, let's quit talking about me. Let's talk about saving the life. And you know what I'm talking about, Kenneth. Come on. We'll go to my house. I also have some confession to make about Kani, the special assistant to the Senate. Well. Rosai, if you take a look at these pictures in the envelope, you will see both Juma's blood pictures and clear. Well, Kenneth senses regards. Also, uh, Ujua. We are inviting you to our office for normal interrogation, officially. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. I'll, I'll testify so that Ikena can walk away free, man. I'll come with you. You are... Kani, I guess. And on the orders of the senator, you were asked to kidnap Joa. And you did, didn't you? What? You plan to kidnap me? Dad? And this is absurd. Get you. Well, it will also more interest you all that Kenneth did not just take the pictures. He also recorded the video. So, we won't be wondering, I mean, bothering about the evidence. It's absolutely clear. Dad, did you actually ask Kani to kidnap me? 